I just uh, want to save some frat boys. Yeah. Hell yeah. Save all the frats from from yourself. If I can't do it, if I can't do it in real life. <laughs> <laughs> That's what role I'm play sure, is all about. I'm sure, Calm, if you really wanted to, we could spend enough time downtown that at some point you would have an opportunity to save a frat boy. We can make this happen. Dude, Even if I have to imperil one. I live on the isthmus. I'm surrounded I know. by frat boys. Exactly. Oh. All right. Sure. So let's Someday. recap. What happened last time, uh, just to get us kind of moving forward to now. Uh, oh, <laughs> last time we never did our, I mean, we left it at a very to be continued point and it's probably moot, but we didn't do our normal little, little wrap up. What did we accomplish? Oh yeah. Did we learn something? Oh, experience points. I just need one. Oh, yeah, we need things. I don't. Yeah, maybe we don't deserve don't them. Maybe we don't deserve them. I don't know. Maybe, maybe you don't deserve them, but oh. I very much deserve them. <laughs> I just want to deserve Joan. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, okay, that's a really good point. Uh, so I think, I, I think it ends up really kind of working out to where. Just about every such session ends at least one with one experience point gained. Uh, so retroactively, everyone gets an experience point from the end of last session. Um, okay. Thank you. Ah. All right. And Calm, I, I think it's probably too late to go back and figure out, but I think you failed miserably and forgot to mark an experience last session. So don't forget. Oh, cool. Three more and I get a squishmallow. Okay, awesome. Squishmallow? Oh, oh you fucking boomers. Look it up on the internet. <laughs> boomers? Boomers? <laughs> they're, they're what all the kids are after these days. Squishmallows. Oh. Come on, move on. Rap boys. No, wait, hold on. No what Sigma is new. It's a. Never mind. It's a bad joke. It's an internet. No, it's a... No, it's no, a, no, 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 no. We're going to dig down on this now, I think. It's a uh, stuffed oh. animal. Think of a giant beanie baby. Oh, oh. Okay. So... That you can yeah. squish. Okay. That's the name. I have Hence one the that's called a squishable. No, it's not a squishable. It's just a squishmallow. That is a cheap Taiwanese knockoff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Squishable? No, it isn't. You, That's what, what they're making at the Foxconn plant it? now. Look, do they call them original? <laughs> <laughs> they probably are, Rob. The fuck, they're probably the begging to. Right? just full of fucking stuffed. Yeah, it's just storage for squishmallows, oh, or in this case, you know, or in this case, squishables because no one wants to buy them. <laughs> I got stacks upon stacks of squishables. Squishables are what you on. get. Get in your grocery stores in Chicago. <laughs> 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 okay. All right. So, what did we do Tal- last time? Tal- Tal- Sigma Nu. Tal- Sigma Nu. Um, Tal- Sigma Nu. I was gonna so, say we saved a frat boy, but he was actually dead. So. He was dead. Yeah. <laughs> we, frat boy died. I we didn't try to resurrect him either this time. Yeah. I sniffed a dead frat boy. I stand corrected. <laughs> Uh, yeah, man. Yeah. That was basically it. So it's it, true. It, it ended with us discovering the layer of coffee mix shop face. Mm-hmm. Uh, Weber. Yep. And uh, realizing that uh, his cohorts are after Rudy, Monica, and Shepard, and have already got, or Randy rather, and have already gotten Randy. So. Mm-hmm. We left with desperately needing to find, uh, uh, excuse me, Monica and uh, Shepard Jr. Because they need I one say, of three who have undergone strange experiences. Then I yep. say we find Weber and grill him. Uh, <laughs> yeah. See where, where I was going there? That was good stuff. Uh, does there, does I don't anyone get it. Could you that me? To me? He looks <laughs> over and says, your spare parts, bud. <laughs> your spare parts, bud. Um... 
Does, any, does everyone remember why Mark needed the, the three weird dead kids? Yes. He was performing a ritual called the to create the judgment. Something called the judgment. The judgment. And he's been tracking the movements of our old friend Monica French, along with Shepard Hendricks and Randy Stevenson. Yeah. Okay. So, so the judgment uh, is with a capital J. I see. It must J be. It is a capital T? Is it a capital T? Are there any other kinds? <laughs> okay. All right. <clears throat> Uh, okay, so uh, yeah, we need to get on uh, Monica and Shepard post paste. I'm going to go ahead and uh, Instagram Monica. <laughs> Unfortunately, we, weirdly enough, I don't think um, I don't think Jeremy's ever been to Monica's place, so he can't just bamf there. So no, but I wait. Have... Some of us go to her, her room. Were you yeah, not yeah. amongst that? I did Jeremy? not do that. So it, to the best of my memory, I didn't go there. I don't think she let any of us in. Oh, yeah, I we made it in. Her roommate, yeah. In one of the... Somewhere in rooms. one of the loops we did. Yeah. But I don't know if Jeremy was actually with us for that. No, I don't I remember that you are. situation. Yeah, but, well, I can Instagram uh, Monica uh, or whatever DM Monica. I'll slide into her DMs. Um and uh, DMs. slide into my uh, GTO and go find her. Do we know anything about this shepherd guy? Well, I've got um, notes here. It says student tint in hair, but red blue. <laughs> and he's also the he's also the son of Grant Hendricks, the shep the sheriff. Oh, the shepherd. yeah. Um, yep. And he's also TA. He was Livingstrom's TA. Oh, so you totally know him. And then I have question mark. What's going on here? <laughs> see, see episode one. <laughs> Isn't that so, who uh, I, helped Joan with the flat, or vice versa? Or Joan helped with the flat? It was yes. Huh. Damn, sorry, some memory for for a minute there. Uh, the shepherd kid was who you helped with the flat or vice versa. I can't remember which. Well, that occurred in a loop that prob he probably doesn't remember. Oh, true. But you remember him. Oh, you yeah. remember him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let me, let's ask this. Uh, I'd like to, you get the, the, uh, the party gets the sense overlooking all, at all this evidence and, you know, the, the massing, the messages that you're seeing pouring in of like cult members starting to mass on the town, you start to get the sense that perhaps the best way to protect uh, the uh, protect these two kids is to like get them and then go somewhere together. Yeah, uh, I, was, I was thinking about this. The field. <laughs> I was thinking. Of, I was thinking of maybe a uh, Greco Grotto. Grottos, right? The caves. Or we take to the caves. Okay. Or we take them to Cleveland. <laughs> or we could drive to I mean, Cleveland. I yeah. hear that Cleveland is amazing, or at least not as bad as Detroit. How about uh, this? But, How about this? We pose as a Christian rock band and drive to Cleveland. No. How about this? We actually become a Christian rock band. Slash monster playing. hunters. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> okay, well, uh, so let's do this. Let's uh, gather Shep and Monica and uh, meet at, uh, should we go meet at uh, um, Tatter's office? So where, then, do, we know, do, we, do we know where to find Shepard? Yeah, do we know where to find him? I don't think we do. I mean... I think, um... Here, I'll, I'll, I'll pop in with this. I think that uh, Tatters feels pretty confident that he would be at a particular particular lecture at the at the college right now. True. Okay, yeah, if he's a TA. <laughs> Absolutely. I know where he is, says Tatters. <laughs> I think he may be at a particular lecture at the college right now. <laughs> All right, we should get him first while we know okay. exactly where he is. Monica, we, Monica, we're in touch with, so I say we get Shepard first. Should okay. we split up and try uh, to get each other? Are we in touch with Monica? And yeah, does it take? No, we can split up. Okay. I will help gather Shepard. 
I feel like Monica, it, you know, it, just in case there's cajoling necessary, I'm a good cajoler. Okay, then okay. you and I, and... you and I, Jeremy and I should then immediately teleport. Can you teleport me with you? Yes. Oh, cool. Okay, to my office. Sounds good. And the rest to of the us office, will try to find Angel Monica. Man. Sure. Yeah, the, the three of us want to pile in the uh, car and go check out Monica's storm room. Okay. And I will continue to try to message her and see where she is. All right. Not while you're driving, right? <laughs> I'm going to toss Mac the keys. <laughs> okay. Uh, That's a big deal, Mac, and you know it. Shotgun. <laughs> Damn it. I have to <laughs> run in the back seat. Well, mm, okay. You well, I assume me. you're driving. You it's your shotgun. car. <laughs> It's okay. Heart, heart's kind of small. You can sit in the front. <laughs> yeah. Well, that that's true. That thing has a has a front seat a mile wide. Um. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, Mac will drive us to the dorms, and I will continue oh. to message Monica. Okay. Uh, which team wants to go first? That's up uh -oh. to you, Zach. I think that uh, teleportation is pretty instant, so... <laughs> Fair. I, I think that kind of wins the initiative round, right? Yeah. Is yeah. it, though, or does it just appear instant? Never I, mind, carry on. Anyway. <laughs> um, so Tatters and... And just to kind of set up a, a time right now, um, let's say that it is... Actually, pretty late in the evening uh, when you guys, you know, got over to uh, Weber's hideout, and you just uh, tatters. You happen to recall that very specifically, um, uh, Shep is a, is a is one of the students that is in like the film studies class that meets in like the the library uh, in the afternoon uh, or in the in the later evening. And you also just, by dint of knowing, like who he is, and just you know whatever, that he helps like tear down the the projector at the end of the night. Uh, so you guys arrive in Tatter's office, and uh, it is after kind of pretty much after hours, so the building is pretty quiet. Um, what do you? Where do you go? What do you do? Uh, the the film club or the film students meet at the, it's like a big auditorium, like a uh, big showing room right off of the, the main uh, room of the library on the, on the bottom floor. Okay. Well, we, we obviously begin our uh, stroll down there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, as you're going down the stairs uh, that lead from the history department wing to the, uh, to the second floor where the, where the stacks are, it overlooks the ground floor. Uh, which is just this big rotunda, and uh, the the viewing room uh, door is slightly ajar, and you can see there's a light inside there. Do we hear anything? Uh, not too terribly much, just over the sound of your of your feet uh, hitting the the stone. But as you get closer to the uh, to the door, um, you you just hear uh, you just hear a. a a young man just kind of like softly like humming to himself while he's uh he's you know taking something apart i ready my black thorn stick okay <laughs> i have a very very bad feeling about this okay uh it sounds like you're maybe pushing open the door Let's push open the door okay oh uh, yeah so i mean what what's the worst that can happen he's an angel and i'm four thousand years old <laughs> You guys are pretty sound for this, yeah. Um, so uh, we're going we're going to kill you and then make you live again. <laughs> <laughs> it's our favorite trick. It's the old it's the old Jeremy one two. <laughs> oh God! Uh, so Jeremy pushes the door open, um, and uh, at the bottom of the auditorium steps, you can see. Uh, Shep is, uh, is like putting, putting a cart, like putting some equipment away on a cart. And, uh, he looks up and he says, Oh, uh, 
Oh, hello, uh, Professor. Uh, how are you? Hmm? Hold on. I've forgotten his name. Shepard. <laughs> I know his name oh. is Shepard, but I'm not going to call him Shepard. Oh. oh, Mr. Hendricks. Yeah, Hendricks. Hendricks. Can you come with us, please? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just finishing up. Uh, if, if I, I, I'm sorry. I think, I think, it, a bit I think than... it can wait. I really think you should come with us now. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, are you going to talk to, and he's like saying this as he's walking up the steps. Um, oh, I'm going to need to compel this. This guy. And like he's so he's he's walking up the steps and he's saying like oh, okay well as long as you clear with uh with Doctor Morrison uh, oh everything's you know, being cleared everything's being cleared with Doctor Morrison already don't worry everything oh, okay. will be fine you don't need to worry about the equipment oh okay and, he and he or she has said that they will take care of it <laughs> yeah doc you know Doctor Morrison right oh yeah probably. <laughs> You're getting an arched eyebrow from Jeremy, who also isn't the best at these social situations, but you are failing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm so, obviously going to have to manipulate this brat. <laughs> just wait, he's coming. He's, yeah, I he's, he, he's coming. Just wait. <laughs> why don't, uh, what, why don't so you so speak to him then? <laughs> <laughs> Your social graces with these things are clearly better than mine. So Shep Shep joins you and uh he's he's about to like he's about to walk past you when you he, he like he kind of gets a, a strange look in his face and he's like uh do you see those guys in robes and as soon as you whirl around uh you see that there are like six men in robes outside the front of the glass windows of the library um and they like they each seem to be fumbling something, something with fumbling with something in their cloaks as they're okay. looking at you. Grab, okay, okay, listen. Okay, I grab both Tatters and Shepard, and Bamf <laughs> to the office. Okay. Uh, quick question: When you take like two people, the yes, two... I have to roll. Yeah. <laughs> why? Why? Why are we bamfing to the office? <laughs> Because that's the first place I could think of. Oh, it gives us a place to go to from there. Don't worry about it. We can talk about it. Okay. This is spur of the moment. Now, let me uh, confirm what I have to roll here. I'm oh, looking I it like up right it. now. Uh, Ooh, it's problem. weird. Okay. That's, I got to roll my weird. All right. That's not terrible. Could be better. I can help out. I don't, can you? Mm -hmm. Ay, you're going to have to make uh, a big argument. Uh, okay. How about okay. I'm a fourth mythical being? So, so, yeah. Uh, Shepard, uh, Shepard, it's, just, it's just bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's a four, Craig. That's a four, That's Craig. That is a four. That is terrible. Oh, boy. Uh... <laughs> Wow. Sorry, so I'm, I'm I'm frantically trying to get to like my copies of your character sheet because I want. What do I get to do? Okay, well, let me tell you. Like on a seven to nine, you don't quite manage it. <laughs> so that, that that that's your scale. Ten plus, everything works out perfectly. Seven to nine, you don't quite manage it. Half take of it, that. You could take it from there. Okay. So I think you summon four more cloaked figures. <laughs> We materialize right in the middle of them. Please, please, let me. Uh, I think that, like, I can't wait. This is gonna be good. So you you go to Banff, but like something about like it's almost like you like you you like twisted your ankle in terms of your teleporting ability for a second. <laughs> like, like okay. you just you stepped on it, funny man. Um, so. An interesting thing happens. The three of you do disappear. Shit. But then uh -oh. you reappear almost immediately, like about three feet up in the air, 
in the center rotunda and you suddenly like find yourself without you know this magical conveyance carrying you anymore so all three of you just go plant right on the ground uh i need i need the both of you to take two harm please or actually yeah that's gonna be a harm a harm i'm sorry all right uh two harm is like crazy that's that might be just that in terms of how it's balanced but anyway um i need to start marking harm for chap don't i no he's fine <laughs> Yeah, well, that's me. Uh, <laughs> so you guys are now prone, and uh, these you can now see with terror that the uh, that the thing that the uh, that the the cultists were getting out of their robes were s- submachine guns. Yay! Um, yes. they, like, yep. They, crucibles. They let loose. Like all five of them just start spraying through the glass in like a in a horizontal sweep. Oh dear! Um, Suddenly we're in a John Woo movie. Yeah, this is not good. <laughs> the good thing is the one silver lining is that they weren't necessarily expecting you to teleport like that. So they you're, you've got bullets whizzing over your head, but that's also the problem. You've got bullets whizzing over your head. <laughs> Tatters, what do you do? Uh, are we on the are we on the stage in the auditorium? Uh, no, so you're in the central rotunda of the library. Oh shit, that's no good. There'll be no trap uh, over here. The <laughs> front door is. So let me let me give you your out options. Um, you can run back into the auditorium. Um, Unfortunately, it's no longer the closest option because you got teleported to the exact center. Uh, should I should I roll for a read a bad situation here? Uh, uh, I probably should. Yeah. Just, if I'm gonna look, if I'm gonna look for a way out of here. Yeah, sorry. I, I think I got a little excited. Should I roll? I I don't know. It just it feels like there's obviously a couple different like. You know, okay, go for it. Go for it. Yeah, you look around and you can see anyway. So you can go back to the auditorium. Uh, you can try to go up the stairs. Uh, you can try to go over to the stacks that are just behind you. Uh, those are kind of your. Those are. Those are just your options. And let's say if you want to see which ones are better than others, maybe. I can give you more details if you if you roll read a bad situation. Did you say there were stacks behind us? Yes. Oh, what do you think, Jeremy? Do you think we should back up to the stacks or try and make it to the auditorium? We're either gonna we're gonna have to crawl across the floor. Well, maybe not you. You can probably bamf out of here. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Of course. Uh, what I want to do, I think, is there like. Is there like a doorway or something that is still within reach of like I can in other words like if I was to like bamf myself to just like the other side of a door so that's safe I don't have to roll for that uh, cuz I'm not taking anybody with me could I then like reach and drag Shepard to where I am like is there that kind of reach you see what I'm getting at like if I'm behind a wall or something <laughs> So I, I'm sorry. I started. I, I started thinking as soon as you said "door within reach." Uh, no. Okay. Can I, tra- can I transform and yeah. see if I could find a way out of here? Yes. Although Jeremy, I do want to add just to remember earlier when I said you kind of, it kind of feels like you sprained your ankle a little yeah. bit with the teleport. Yeah. 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 You're not going to be able to do that for the rest of this encounter. Son of a bitch. All right. No, then. Tele- no teleporting. That's fair. I wasn't going to try a really kind of here. Yeah, I screwed up so badly. Okay, All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna... Mean, to... It was a four. Yeah, no, I, I'm i not arguing. <laughs> <laughs> not arguing. It's totally I can go, fair. I, I love it. I can go cat or eagle here. Which should I do? Yes. <laughs> which, is, which, is, which is the least likely to be shot in a hail of bullets? 
An eagle is going to have a hard time flying around. In a... Okay, I'm going to go, because everything everything I turned into is black. So I'll You were go. first, anyway, so when it's my turn, then I'll tell you what I'm doing. Okay, wrong. I'll go. I will, I will transform into a cat. And then okay. you said our options were uh, staircase. F- fuck that. No, the staircase is completely out. Because I assume these bullets are still going, right? Oh, yeah. I mean... Yeah. I, okay, so the staircase we're kind of, is out. We're, we're being a little playful with time at the moment. Uh, yeah. Like, this is it's, still this pretty... This is all taking place cost. in six seconds. Yeah. Right. Okay, we will... Uh, okay, I'll take a quick run behind the um, the uh, shelves behind us and scope out what's back there. Okay, and I think that um, you do you do get noticed just because... There's like so much light and you know what have you. Um, sorry, that was an inopportune moment to shove a cookie in my mouth. So what, do they all stop and go ah? Uh. <laughs> no. Uh, so I think that at least two cultists do notice you like dart that way. Um, yeah, they do. Uh, so I think that they're actually. They're going to go to follow you into the stacks, right? Oh God damn it! So I thought these people were—I thought these guys were still outside. So they're—they're—they're they're, they're coming in upon us now. Yep. Uh, I think. Yeah. Let's. So th- I think that they've halted fire. Like you ran out. Uh, so I think at least two of the two of them are are like now following you. The other oh, four God. are going to try to deal with Jeremy and Shep. <sighs> Jeremy, you are on the ground. Uh, you get the sense that your jumper ain't jumping anymore, and yep. you've got. What is the Shep. nearest? What is the nearest cover? Where is the nearest the, cover? The okay, nearest I'm... cover. Yeah, I think that uh, you're actually pretty close to the receptionist desk, which actually miraculously hasn't been completely like torn up by bullets. So if there's uh, cover there, that's great. I'm gonna, I'm gonna haul. Shepherd over that desk and dive across it myself. Okay, awesome. I think you go over the desk, um, and the other f- three cultists. There were five of them, right? I think you said six. Honestly, <laughs> hate to say it. You said six. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so what I meant was five. Uh, <laughs> It, it, with all the confusion going on, it, was there five? Was there six? Who's to say? But now there's definitely five of them. Um, uh, so the two are going after uh, Tatters, and the other three uh, see you vault, o- vault over the desk, um, and you know they they let off a quick chatter of fire. But you're already safely behind the behind the confines of the cover. And Shep, yeah. you're now able to kind of take stock of them. Is Freaking the fuck out. Like, he yep. is a gibbering mess at the moment. Stay down. Cover your head. <laughs> okay! Jeremy, just slap him. Just slap him. No. <laughs> okay. I will if I have to. Right. But first, I have to retrieve a sword from my pocket dimension. What does that look like, by the way? What does what look like? Like, what, do you, what does it look like when you retrieve your sword from the pocket dimension? Do you literally, like, reach into your pocket and there's a big sword? Or is it just, no, like, I, in thin air? Like, even just reading it, I think the way it works is it's just, it just literally just comes into existence where I want it. On, my, on the ground next to me, in my hand. Like, that's how, these thing, that's how that thing works, apparently. Gotcha. It's almost like you downloaded it from the universe. Yeah, it's very much a I know kung fu kind of thing. Yeah, cool. Um, so you've got sword in hand, now what? Oh, it's still me to go then. So, um, um, can I? Okay, so I'm I'm behind the desk. Do I have a sense of where I might be able to jump out to get close to one of those assholes? Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, I'll give you this. It sounds like you're maybe wanting to go attack them. That's your kind of end goal here, as long as you can do it safely, maybe. Well, uh, I'm not too worried about risk to me, provided there isn't somebody who's just gonna immediately shoot over the, you know come across the desk and take care of Shepard. Does that make sense? Yes. No, I think that they're far they're far enough away that you've you've bought Shepard some some time. Okay. Yep. 
So if there's somebody relatively close that I can like, you know, jump over or jump out and take a swipe at, that's great. Otherwise, I will actually wait a little bit and listen to get a sense of where I can, or like peek to see if I can get a better sense. Like, you understand what I'm saying? I don't want to just recklessly jump out. I want to have some sense that there's somebody I can get to right away. Gotcha. If it's not possible, um, then I wish to take a peek and or listen. I think, uh, can you roll plus cool for me, please? Uh, sure, sure. I'm going to do just as well this time as the last time. <laughs> oh, don't forget to mark experience for your bad bamf, by the way. I did, I did. Okay, good. Marking experience as failures is my love language. Ten. Ten is excellent. Yeah, I think that you... What I'm going to give you for that is that you're able to set it up so that you can... Uh, you've got plus one forward for your next action, uh, like, martial action against um, uh, against one of, like, one of the uh, one of the cultists. I so like the sound of that. When you... Yeah, so I think that's just a plus one, right? Yeah. Use the terminology correct? Yeah, yeah. Cool. In the meantime, uh, Calm uh, and uh, Monica team, don't worry, I haven't forgotten you. Just, uh, we're gonna we're gonna do a scene cut here in a little bit, maybe. We're just having um, beers with Monica. It's all cool. I am having a, a great time listening to this. This is genius. Keep going. Okay. Okay. Um, well, thank you, actually. Dang. Um, the other two cultists are now trying to track down a black cat in a, in a shadowy set of library stacks. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I'm no tatters, longer a cat. Do do? Okay. I'm no what longer a now? cat. Um... I can pass freely through the stacks because I am <laughs> corporeal, remember. Because I've just remembered because I see it here. It says it on my sheet. Oh, my God. Oh, I my can God. Move, I can move freely through solid objects. So um, are, they, are these two sticking together or are they splitting up? They, they like... They, uh, so they, I think the shot is this. Like, you see the two cultists come up to, like, the like an intersection of the stacks and you see one of them like gestured this way and the other one gestures that way. And they both like kind of do the, like the kind of like very slow creep forward, but while being attentive, like one by one, they split up. Okay. Well, they're you doing gotta, that. You got yourself well, a middle gear solid situation here. <laughs> while they're doing that, I am walking in the opposite direction through the middle of the stack between the, t between them. Excellent. Um, and then I will go that way, behind the guy that way. <laughs> Great. So I'm behind him, using my, uh, pooky power. Mm -hmm. So I'm being very, very quiet. And, uh, I guess, Jesus, I guess I'm just gonna have to thwack this, um, this cultist from behind and try and take him out. Because Clobber time. Yeah. I got nothing else. I'm not I, very tough. I'm not very tough, but um, you are weird. You, you know that I, I weird. loved. Yeah, I loved all that. I think that was an excellent. You used a lot of your character's abilities to like set this up so perfectly. I really need you. I actually no. I don't need you to roll anything. I think that you thwack this guy directly on the noggin, and he's he's out. Um, okay, and I'm like totally um. Snake plisking him. <laughs> the other, the other guy, the solid snake guy. So, so I'm doing it all very, 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 uh, very Irish ninja-ish. The Irish ninja. <laughs> it's all very quiet and a bit and a bit sad. Okay, okay. Tell me, tell me, tell me now. Do I have a machine gun? <laughs> you should you... have brought me with you. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't even ho, know ho, ho. I didn't see. Um okay, so this I don't want her... I don't want the machine gun though, because I because uh, I'm not gonna be able to transport that through the um through the stacks. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna attempt a repeat on the on the other guy. Same thing. I'm watching him through the stacks. I pass okay. through the stack behind him. Go up and, and uh, now. Uh, I think that 
there is a there is a moment where like he just just kind of happens happens to pass by like uh, the right viewing able to where he can see his buddy on the ground so he's a like there's a split second where he's a little more prepared so can i have you roll plus tough please to kick some ass oh <clears throat> and don't forget you've got luck to burn if you want i do pretty sure yeah Might not anymore I haven't used any of my luck. I prefer not to because it's just more no. fun to fail. <laughs> I haven't. I haven't used any. Yes. Nice. Yes. A ten. Uh, no one sees the paddy whackery coming. Paddy whackery. <laughs> so that's uh, uh, for kick some ass, don't, on a ten plus, don't you get to uh, you get to pick a, uh, an extra thing, don't you? I think so. Uh, like yes, extra I harm, I uh, move them where they where you want them, stuff like that. Uh, let's see. I think I've got that up. I get plus one forward. Give plus one forward. I inflict terrible harm. Oh, I inflict terrible harm. <laughs> Yes, you do. Um, I need to. Yeah. I need to take these out. We need. We need. All I'm interested in doing here is evening the numbers for my good friend Jeremy. Yeah. So I think that actually that wraps that up rather nicely. <laughs> uh, it's going to be great when when I muff all the rest of these rolls, and you're going to be the one that has to take care of everything. Well, I was thinking what I could do is I could turn into a horse, and then I could just jump through. I could fuck your Mitsubishi. Through the uh, through the wall there, and uh, that would probably uh, distract them. But we'll they quite the distraction, yeah. It would. Okay, uh, let's <laughs> let's have two quick back and forths with Damon. Uh, so you are you are crouched. Um, you're crouched behind a, a desk. Shep is there, and you got a pretty good beat on one of the cultists that are starting to go wide a little bit. The other two are, are pretty uh, pretty stationary. Okay, so does that mean the wide one is relatively close? I could. Yes. All right. What the hey? Again, uh, I'm brash. Do it. Go get him. Kick his ass. Uh, yep. Roll plus tough. Roll plus tough. And uh, add plus one forward since you're doing a violence on a cultist you study. I get to choose where to apply that plus one. Like I can see how this turns out, right? Uh, yes, I think a forward. Yeah. So if, I think a forward you can you can hold on to. All right. Oh dear. A five. You know oh. what? I just said I want. I don't like using luck, but I can't have this many failures. Six is gonna do it either. I'm gonna go ahead and burn a luck. Okay. Uh, just to make it work. Where's my? So just. So how? Uh, how would Jeremy go about uh, taking taking this guy out? I think that you guys have kind of moved the the engagement out of like maybe not the exact center of the rotunda but you know behind some receptionist desk and like some like library computers that are set up nearby um maybe near the library computers is your kind of your moment okay so yeah i'm i'm thinking like a good old um decapitation with a flaming sword is pretty good it's classic, right? If it ain't broke, don't yeah. fix it. Yeah, right. Uh, and I, you know, and his body, bur you know, like his robes start burning before the body falls down. You see how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> so I think uh, I think what happens next is that both the cultists start to um, start to fire, kind of in your general area. Um, yep. And yeah, I think this is where I kind of struggle with this game with guns and enemies with guns like this. Like, well, you roll for them, right? And then if they do, or well, if they if they take a roll, GMs don't roll in the, the system. Yeah. Oh, it's only in reaction to what I just did. Yeah, pretty much. Essentially, my luck turns it into a twelve. Yeah. So I totally oh, okay. succeed. But what? But yeah. So what? I what, I get exactly what I want, and then some. 
So what you do is like I rolled a 12 or I avoid all harm from an injury. I rolled a 12 on this attempt to just absolutely murder this guy. Got it. Absolutely. So that's okay. what that's what happened. 10-4. So I think that you you myrtleized him and uh you're able to like kind of duck behind behind like the library computer area now uh before his his buddies was able to, you know, get you with bullets. Yep. And uh we'll we'll say that used up my plus one too, so I had to burn the whole lock anyway. What the hey? Eh, yeah, I, I have a feeling this is gonna close out pretty quickly because uh calm. Yes. You said something about jumping through the wall as a horse. Yeah, I mean, how close are um? So they're they're still. Are you guys still behind this desk? No, he's not behind the desk anymore, or is he? Chef's behind the reception desk. Uh, Jeremy Jeremy? is uh, behind some of the 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 library computers that are a little bit close to the entrance. You got two cultists basically at the entrance, kind of blocking it with their bodies and their submachine guns. And then the uh, the stacks be- are behind the desk that Shepard is carrying behind, and yes. I am I am behind those stacks. Kind of, you're not directly uh, behind. I know. But I could you're... do. I do like the idea of the uh, the the giant black horse just uh, <laughs> just just appearing violently from through a wall is uh, is quite nice, but I. There's something very compelling about burning yeah. my luck and coming out with two machine guns. <laughs> now that I know horse. I can just give myself horse. a twelve. No horse. Luck it's is gotta final, be horse. Man. It's got to be the old it's got to be the old classic. All right. The old, yeah. the old classic um incorporeal giant black horse <laughs> through the wall trick. Yeah, so I think that uh Shortly after one of the cultists gets beheaded by a flaming sword, there is suddenly, like, from the cultist perspective, a little bit to the left, um, uh, like a like a giant black horse just jumping yep. through through these through these walls. Uh, yeah, it just you... materializes through the stacks. Gotcha. So just coming through the stacks, calm. Where are you? Uh, where are you going as the horse? What are you? What is kind of your like, oh, so you... Chattis is going to go for broke and go for the greater good. I'm just going to bound towards these two cultists. Gotcha. Try kind of and buy Shep and Jeremy some time. Okay, so you're going to try to trample them, maybe? Oh, yeah. Okay. It's going to be all uh, moves and faces. Yeah, give me... Can you roll plus tough for me, please? Plus tough? Ooh. Oh, I just I'm physically rolling. Never mind. <laughs> I gotta I gotta I gotta stop doing that. No, that's fine. Uh, fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Natural fifteen. Must be these six sided dice that starts from seven to <laughs> nine. Nine. Okay. Nine. Hi-ya. You're good. Hi-ya. So on a nine, um you you set out to do what you want to, but um, I think that the sudden appearance of the horse and just the craziness of it, like, I think that you're actually able to trample both of them into uh, into being not a problem anymore. However, uh, yeah. they do get a couple shots on you. Yeah. And you do take uh, two harm. Wait, hold on. No, I think that's got to be three harm, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Ouch. Yep. So I got four harm. That's okay. Oh, um, so I'm unstable now. Well, I'm yeah, also unstable are. in the game. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, Jeremy, you look you look, and you see that uh, that Tatters has, as a horse, like, just, just done some, like, horse karate on the, <laughs> on the uh, Irish on horse the karate. Irish horse karate. Uh, what do you do? So how, I, there's still at least one standing to some extent, right? Uh, there's not, no. no. Oh, you really got all of them? Okay. Yeah. All right, excellent. Um, I mean, you know, Tat- Tatters is immortal. He's going to be fine. So, um, <laughs> hang on, go get Shepard. Okay, yeah. Uh, Shepard is... He will you know, go wherever you want because he is just he's pocket just a the mess. sword. Yep. 
Come with us. There's, okay. going be, there's going to be more of the same unless we keep you safe. Okay. Actually, I've, I'm not unstable because, as Jeremy pointed out, I am immortal, so I have one arm less. So I'm still good. Excellent. Yeah, you always take one always take one less harm than it would yep. have dealt out to you. Wow. Yep. All right. So, uh, well, let's go. Unfortunately, I can't poof us, so let's be on the alert. Okay, and uh, where are you guys going? We're going to the, the girls' dorm, aren't we? We had agreed to meet at the at your office, I had at thought. The office. Oh, yep. so okay, up to Tatter's office then. Yep. Okay. All right. Uh so those guys go up that way. Uh Monica team, that's Hart, Mac, and Joan, right? <laughs> okay, great. So uh as you who are you gonna go driving? I caught like the like the tail end of that conversation. Yeah. I guess I Mac did. Is, Mac is driving yeah. because he doesn't want me to text and drive. Yeah. Yep. So Not I think safe. Mac. I'm in the back seat. Uh, Mac, uh, you are you are driving, and uh, you guys are driving towards the girls' dorm- dormitory. When uh, Joan, you get a Pinstra Graham book mm-hmm. text. <laughs> um, text talk. Yeah, a, a text talk from uh, from Monica, who indicates that she's actually uh, she's actually at the Gravy Ladle. Um, she went over there for some coffee to do some late night studying. I will say, Mac to the Gravy Ladle, post haste, late this night is, studying. We don't have time for dinner. She's at the Gravy Ladle. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. All right, so, yeah, yeah, I will uh, uh, drive at a safe but diligent speed toward the Gravy Ladle. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I'm gonna to I'm do. gonna say fuck that and I'm gonna flip on the blueberries and Jerry's. <laughs> okay. Uh, it was a cop car. Yeah. Oh, oh so I'm driving your car. I thought I was driving my truck. No, no, I gave you the keys to my car. Oh right. Okay, gotcha. Uh I mean what's electric, yeah, we, so yeah. So Yeah, we can we can well, okay. that still has a lot of low end. Okay. Uh, so, all right. So the the electric GTO is booking ass like uh Blue and reds flashing as you as you pull up in front of the uh, in front of the gravy ladle. Uh, you can kind of see from the from the outside that it's actually uh, yeah, Towson is the kind of place that most places don't really stay open after dark just because no one goes out after dark. Not because it's spooky, just because it's an old town in, in Ohio, and it's just that they just do that. They just everything closes anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I think I think the the thing to do now is, uh, uh, you know, these cultists aren't going to necessarily want to act out in the open too much. I I say we we roll up there nice and loud and keep it nice and loud. Okay, so you get there as loud as you can in a, an electric car. <laughs> <laughs> well, I and, should, uh, should still be going Wii U. Vroom, yeah, vroom. yeah, you got the Wii U's going. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and yeah, you can see inside the gravy ladle that it actually looks like Monica is the only person inside. And like, you kind of get the sense that she didn't really get the gist of what you were saying in your texts, just that like, it was important that you met. And so Mm -hmm. she's like kind of standing at the window, like with like a, what the fuck is going on? Expression on her face. As you Uh, get out of the car. Yeah, I'm going to uh, try to just walk right in and, and tell her she needs to come with us right now and hope that she trusts to past adventures to uh, uh, acquiesce. Okay, I, I think she's she takes a moment. She's like, wait, what's going on? Like, what's what's happening? Uh, I'll say uh, we'll explain on the way, but we need to go now. Uh, uh, okay, is this like another weird thing? Like, is that? Is- yes, it is another weird thing. Oh god! And uh, yeah, she wants Mark. Uh, I'll, I'll tell her it involves Mark. Mark, and we need to go now. Yeah, she she was uh, Mark. Uh, this is think, on the way. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, we think he he might be part of the opposition. 
And I I know from experience that he's not to be messed with. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, he seemed like a the the coffee guy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is you're gonna you're gonna have to tell me more about this anyway. So she jumps in the car, and you guys are all in the car. What do? Uh, uh, yeah, where are we going? I'm going to I'm going to push Mac over to the side. I'm taking okay. over. It's my um uh yeah. So I'm going to take uh-huh. off. Uh, and I'll tell Mac to uh text the boys uh and tell them we're on we're on our way to uh the office and that we should uh <laughs> get the fuck out of Dodge. On on our way to Tatters' office. Yes. Okay, I will text this thing to them. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so uh, as you are um, at the ready with my assault rifle, <laughs> good. So, so you're uh, as you're driving, um, part you're kind of keeping a lookout, and you see you see <laughs> something really strange that it just kind of seems like a trick of the light, maybe. But um, you see what looks like in the diff in the distance, like the the image of a silhouette of someone like jumping like over buildings, uh, not going towards you, but definitely also heading towards the college. Um, and it's as you're, it's your, as you're seeing this, um, uh, Mac is not driving. It is right. Joan that's driving. Uh, Joan has got, got her eyes pretty squarely on the front of the road. Meanwhile, Mac, you see, Two black sedans are like have like kind of swerved around some uh, some roads nearby and are driving towards you with their their high beams like really high up. They're behind us. Yeah, uh, we got somebody following us, sis. Uh, I look back and using my powers of uh, uh, G-Man uh, uh, deduction, do they seem to be in pursuit of us with nefarious intent? Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. This, is further, uh, this is further confirmed by the sight of, uh, of uh, two cultists leaning out of the, the side windows of, of these two cars with, uh, with assault rifles. And they oh, are behind shit. us. In they the are suit. behind okay. you. Um, I uh, uh, Who's who's riding shotgun? Uh, I think Hart called shotgun. Hart, yeah, Hart called shotgun. So I'm gonna say uh, uh, move over, sweetie, and I'm gonna reach under the dash, and I am gonna deploy Keltrops. I was wondering when they were gonna pop out. Yeah. You have the 007 Lotus or something? Are you gonna go? <laughs> I do. Yeah, he requested it. He requested yeah, I remember. It. I remember. Yeah, that's great. Oh my that's god, that's this is one of the two things that I picked for the car. Yep. I got Caltrops and machine gun headlights. Yeah, nice. that's so good. Okay, yeah, so I think that you deploy the Caltrops. Like, um, I think that the the high beams are up, so they like they kind of see that something metallic is dropping from the car, um, and that causes the two cars to swerve. So in so far that one of the cars just like. Bops into the other one, like sends it kind of fish a little bit. But the one that bopped the, the other, like it like gets hit by the cow traps and goes into a full fucking spin before like getting its uh, back end directly into the, the side of a shop. Um and the Yeah, so there's still one car that's behind you. Now, it's like the scene from Star Wars, you know, going down the trench. Look out! Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh so uh, I think so. You got the car behind you that is still on your on your tail, and you kind of you're getting close enough to the college now because Towson is very small mm. that you kind of have two choices. You can either try to lose this guy or just get to the office. Uh, I am going to attempt to uh, lose this guy. I think and trust. To my uh, gunner riding shotgun, which is apropos, um, mm-hmm. to uh, uh, hopefully 
get these guys off our tail. Hell yeah. But yeah, I'm going to try to get to a, uh, I guess I'm going to try to get to a less pedestrian area where, where a shootout and a car chase is a little <laughs> less uh, likely to cause a lot of collateral. Right. I'm going to, I got my, I, I got my submachine gun. So I can tell you from experience. Mm -hmm. uh, that's not going to work? No, that what you want to do is you want to you want to hit like uh, dead ends. With you want to go into like a tightly bound, uh, I'm sorry, like a residential areas with your lights off. Hmm. If we can shake them a little. That worked for me. Yeah. Um. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a story for in there for you some other time. Okay. Damn. All right. Um. Okay, so I think that uh, you you take a sharp left turn onto Elm, uh, and you are you're driving towards the part of the town where uh, shop uh, Hetty McShop face is, and Hart, you get the opportunity to kind of lean out, and uh, uh, I take it you're just licking some shots at the uh, at the at the car. Jenny, I'm sorry, could you, uh, you you cut off. Oh, okay. Um, so you're leaning out the, uh, are you shooting um, at them or I'm going to have Monica get her head down. Yeah. Tell Monica to get her head down. I'm going to lean out the, the side window here and this, this is, this is all in the day's work for me. Bust some caps. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So as, uh, being a, being a professional hitman, where do you, where does, um, where does, uh, where does Hart kind of focus their fire? Um, well, uh, uh, I don't know. I mean, we could shoot the tires out. Um, I, they are following us in the car, right? Because you kept cutting in and out a lot. So I was. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Stop eating those cookies. <laughs> no. <What? laughs> Okay. okay. Um, we're gonna shoot at the tires. Can you roll yep. plus cool for me, please? Roll plus cool. Is that this is a roll? Two, six. Um, hang on. What is my cool? You're pretty cool, right? I'm pretty damn cool. Plus two. Um. Hey. Eight. Eight. That's okay. not bad. That's not bad. Yeah. I mean, you something good will happen. Okay. So you set out what you what you meant to do. Um, I'm going to give you a hard choice. That's the whole. I feel like mm -hmm. I should have it as a mantra at this point. Mm -hmm. Worst outcome: hard choice or price to pay. Wait a minute. Outcome or price to pay? Yeah. Uh. All right, well, let's go with price to pay. Well, um, no, I'm just I'm kind of thinking about what those options are because I think so. The setup no, here is that I'm going to say, <laughs> uh, C. Okay, so you set out what you mean what you mean to do. Uh, you are yeah. able to to deflate one of the tires, mm -hmm. but in so doing, uh, something about you know, Jones driving or uh, uh, something kind of occurs to where your uh, your submachine gun has jammed. Um, and it's going to take a little bit of, like, downtime in order to get it back up and running again. All right. I better pull, I better pull the 9mm. Uh, the, the, uh, <laughs> and that's why I've got backups. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Seeing that happen, I will say, uh, Mac, my rifle is under the back seat. All right. Uh, I'll dig it up and hand it over to uh, to a heart, who's going to be a better <laughs> shot than I am. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> yeah, that'll be a, be a, a long-range weapon. It'll be a little better than the, uh, the old 9 millimeter. I'll say, don't drop it. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> And since, since Mac is a handy dude with uh, with stuff, I'm just going to see if he can unjam the submachine gun. Uh, 
Ooh, do we uh, do we want to try that? Do you want me to try to jam the machine gun? Yeah, you're 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 a handyman. You know? Okay, I've never used one of these before, but all right, okay. sure. Point the barrel out the window and down. Yeah. Point <laughs> it away from your face. Now, if I if I just lick the right the contact point here, <laughs> <laughs> just give me a rifle and let me let me let me shoot these guys. Okay. All right. So here's the scene. Uh, you are now barreling past uh, Hattie McShop face, uh, and you can you can see for a moment. Glenn has his his like his head out the fucking window, like what? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll wave uh, this part, and you manage it. Part, you've exchanged your uh, machine gun with uh, with Max, uh, the rifle that Max just happened, was able to find, um, and you're lining up your next shot. Meanwhile, Matt, you've been handed this machine gun. Uh, I don't even know like, <laughs> what to do with what you're one. Um, I think it would be an attempt help out don't break my gun Matt. i like that yeah i like that a lot okay uh roll plus cool please uh okay <laughs> oh wait or you know what i'm actually gonna have you roll plus sharp my reasoning is that you are literally using just your own experience with machines and okay. how things fit like together. That. It's a little bit more sharpness that you've got going on here. Okay. Oh, yeah. Mm. Works better yeah, than the last Oh, wow. oh yeah. <laughs> wow. yeah. Yeah, I yeah. guess you got to oil these things from time to time, and uh, yeah, I uh, re-rifled the barrel. On... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. So, Mac, uh, you set out exactly what you mean to do. Uh, uh -huh. So I think that it does take a little bit of time. Sure. Uh, but you are you feel pretty confident that you can uh, that you can you can you can make it work again. Nice. Uh, okay. Meanwhile, uh, Hart, you've got you've got this rifle in your hands. I do. Uh, and you can see with horror that the the tire that's been busted out on the car has caused the other car to like swerve and like run into uh Hetty McShop face. Um, oh no it looks like Glenn was able to like get his head back in quick enough, but like you can like the, the car has been now crashed over there. Okay. Okay. Um vengeance for Hetty McShop face. <laughs> I I uh I'll tell you what, I'm going to pull just around the corner and I'm going to kill the headlights and put it in neutral. Um, I guess I don't need to put it in neutral with an electric, but I'm going to say uh, uh, I am concerned for Glenn's safety with those guys there. Yeah, they kind of seem a, like the leave no witnesses. We should, go, uh, right. we should go over there armed and. Yeah, I, th I think we need to. But we gotta um, get so Monica yeah. away from those guys too, right? Um, Max gonna protect Monica. Uh, I'm gonna. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, he has a he has a repaired submachine gun at the moment. True. I'll, I, I could I could train him. Well, I, I, mean, I actually do have a handgun I, I would rather use, <laughs> just okay. for given that I'm an well, amateur. So, so do I, but uh, you know. <laughs> Okay, so Max, it sounds like you're going to stay behind with Monica with your with your trusty handgun. Meanwhile, okay. Joan and Hart are going to uh, are, are going to head over to Hetty McShop face to save Glenn. Yes, we're going to do that, and I'm going to say uh, um, to Mac, I'm going to say text the boys and give them an update quick. Okay, and uh, so we're headed over to Hetty McShop face, and that's where we are, and that's where all of us have been. All right, are you going to leave the car running so I can haul ass out of here in case they yes, find us? Yes, of course. Okay. Of course. So I'll hop in the driver's seat and be ready to peel out if it looks yep. bad. And we'll come running back here, leave the windows rolled down. We might be doing a quick exit here at some point. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, Mac is uh, is texting. Uh, and just to kind of get a sense of like when all this is happening in, in temporality, uh, 
let's say that uh, let's say that uh, the Irish ninja ninja stuff just happened. Uh, okay. So we're getting we're getting close to to, to matching up with time on the uh, the beheading, uh, dudes. So, uh, Mac, do you mind me tell that? Uh, yeah, so my text was, dude, some dudes with guns were chasing their cars, man. It's wild. What are you doing now? <laughs> That's we killed them all. Oh, uh, so are we, are we really going to let those two one-up us? <laughs> Pipe tobacco. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Joan Hart, you round the corner uh, to see to see the form of. Um, it looks like the the driver of the of the car is like knocked out or something. He's just like head first into the the air cushion or the airbag. Um, but you catch glimpse of like two. Uh, two rogue figures making advancing into Hetty McShop face. And after a little bit, you hear sounds of shouting, uh, a little bit of gunfire. Um, but that kind of k- picks up your pace a little bit to where you are now in the uh, close to the. Uh, bup, 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 bup. You are close to the door. How do you want to approach the building? Uh, what can we see through the window? Anything? Uh, can you read a bad situation for me? Yes, that is. I think I get to roll plus cool on that. Oh, really? That's the. I need. I need to check and make sure that's the one. Give me just one second here. Meanwhile, I'm. I've. I have my my gun up and ready. Um. Okay. Tactical genius. When you read a bad situation, you may roll plus cool instead of plus sharp. God damn professional! Uh, you're the professional, right? Yep. <sighs> so fucking cool. Anyway, roll two d six plus uh, three. Nice nine. nine. Uh, so on a nine, you have one hold, uh, and the hold can be spent to ask the keeper one of the following questions: What's my best way in? What's my best way out? Are there any dangers we haven't noticed? What's the biggest threat? What's most vulnerable to me? What's the best way to protect the victims? And if you act on the answer, you get plus one ongoing while the information is relevant. Uh, what's the best way to protect the victims? Hmm. So I think that uh, you are able to... Uh, they're able to look in and see that uh, one of the... One of the cultists has Glenn in the main shop area and uh, like kind of has him like in like a in like an arm bar like headlock um, while the other one looks to be going into the back of the in, into the back of the shop. I believe that the best way to protect the victims would be to somehow take this guy down um, just I will, somehow. I will use I my sniper rifle. Okay, okay, I was gonna. Uh, I was gonna say I can go after the other guy if you want to. Yeah, if you want to sneak around back and do that. Yep. Okay, uh, so I think Hart, you are able to sneak around the back. Meanwhile, uh, yeah, can I actually, Joan? Do you mind acting under pressure for me? Because I think that it's kind of a little bit of a tight shot there, uh, just because he's got an, an arm bar and it's okay. Yeah. Is that a plus cool? Yep. Yeah, you roll plus cool again, essentially. Yep. Uh, That's that. Roll 2d4 plus 2d6, please. (laughs) Plus 3, and I can add one, you said? Yep. Plus 1. Can I take that after the roll? You said it's on the next turn, so... Yeah. Uh, what is it? Uh, you get plus one ongoing while the information is relevant. Oh man! Wow. Whoa! Oh, that's, that's, but that's wild. Uh, I'm gonna use luck. Okay, I was like, <laughs> I don't want to ask, but are you going to? Okay, so you set right, out. 
Uh, you set up. You do what you set out to. I, I, and, I'm not. Um, I'm not going to shoot Glenn that was, because that. That was a natural two, by the way, for Craig. Resulting. Yeah, that was a natural out. two, resulting in a six. Snake um, eyes. That was. Wow, it wasn't that true. I I would have killed Glenn. I'm letting you guys yeah. know that right yeah, now. Yeah, I. You I'm monster. Sure using luck. I'm not going to do that. Yeah. Wow. It would have been a narrative wrong choice, but yeah. So on a twelve, you set out what you what you uh, what you, you do what you set out to do. Uh, you just turn the other cultists head into a water, watermelon at a Gallagher show, um, <laughs> and Glenn is now kind of freaking out a little bit. Hart, sure. meanwhile, uh, you round to the back and like let's say about uh, right before you you are able to get inside, you got. You've got a gunshot coming, like in six seconds. Uh, mm -hmm. What do you do? To, what do you do? Um. Uh, well, if I've got a gunshot coming towards me, I, I'm going to have to like duck and roll. Oh, I mean, like uh, <laughs> uh, Joan is about to shoot the the cultists. I think you guys have that plan before you. Oh yeah, yeah. And I was going to go around the back and, and and try to get the other guy. Okay. Uh, so I think that you get to the back door and you pry it open a little bit, um, and you can see that it kind of looks like he's he's looking around for something. Like, like he's got uh, he's got a flashlight on his like he's got a cell phone flashlight just kind of like up while his other his other hand he's got he's got the assault rifle. He was the guy leaning out the window, um, okay. and he's just he's kind of just like looking around like he's. Like kind of moving things aside with his gun, kind of rifling a little bit. Okay, is there is there any chance of me sneaking up behind him and putting my gun to the back of his head? Because I want yeah, to know what he's uh, looking for. I don't want to kill him outright. I want to know what he's looking for. Okay. Can you roll plus cool for me, please, to sneak up on the man's? On the man's. Hey. Dang, that's what mm -hmm. I said. So with a thirteen, you do what you set out to do. One, three. Jenny, you had the most amazing rolls. Yeah, <laughs> that's the lucky dude. Awesome. Um, okay, so you 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 get behind uh, you get behind the guy just as a just as you hear a rifle shot of Joan taking out the other cultist, and the timing is just so fucking perfect. It's as, as if like both of you got a twelve or better or something. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, and yeah, you now have this cultist at your mercy. What do? Get down on your knees, drop the weapon, and get down on your knees, forehead on the floor. Okay. Uh, he he holds. He like he's got. You you can tell that he knows that he's got. He like he puts the gun on the ground. And he gets down on his knees. He's got his hands inter interlaced behind his mm -hmm. head. Mm -hmm. um, and as he's getting close to the ground, he just says, my absolution is already coming. The judgment will take you all. And you, like, That's hear him make a loud crunching sound. Yeah. The old yes. cyanide. A cyanide pill. Resurrect him. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so nothing I can do about that. Can't grab him and choke the cyanide pill out of him because he's already crunching it. Yeah, I think he's. I think he's. I think he's gone. Like before you're able to react, really. Um, oh, generic well, cultist. We barely knew you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you know, I was just kind of hope. I was kind of wondering what he was looking for. Um, all right, I'm sure Glenn is probably freaked out as hell right now. Um, yeah, and I think uh, let's say that we both converge on Glenn from different sides, uh, and he is he is like, "Yo, what, you guys, what the fuck was that?" Um. So he, uh, yeah, it's like, you know, "Calm down, Glenn. We got your back, man." All right. Yeah. Wow. Who? who wow. Who were those guys, man? Well, we were to ask you the same thing. You ever seen uh, ever seen anything like that before? No. What would they have been looking for in here? What you got back there? I, well, like I got a lot of stuff, man, but I don't know what they would have been. I don't know. 
Okay. I've seen yeah, guys before. I'm going to say I'm going to say we have to GTFO. All right, let's go. Um Glenn, I'm going to say Glenn, Oh, go ahead. I'm going to say Glenn E. Cool. We're going to go now. Call yeah. Stops. I'm going to yeah. say uh uh Glenn g- grab the cash out of the register and give your statement to the police and check yourself into a hotel for a couple days. Uh Yeah. All right. I'll hand Glenn my card and uh, double time it back to the GTO. All right, let's go. Okay, uh, so you all pile back into the GTO, and you are um, going to fast play this just a little bit. Uh, So you guys get get Monica over to uh, Tatter's office, and you run up the stairs, and you meet back up with uh, Tatter's, Jeremy, and Shep. So standing around in the in the office right now is Tatters, Shep, Jeremy, well everybody, Monica and Shepard included. And they kind of both look at each other and they're like, hey. Um we need to get on the road and get out of here and get to cover. Yeah, I assume we've explained to them what's going on, haven't we? Yeah, I think that I think that Monica seems to be taking it less well than Shep. Shep seems to be just kind of in this sort of catatonic, like, okay, I'm going to agree with everything that the people that I trust are going to say, and that's the way that things work for me right now. Okay, so what's the plan? We got to keep these two away from those guys, but we don't know where, uh, what's his name is, uh, Weber. No, we don't. Mm. Um, I mean, I've got Larry Curly still. I think we should we should get out of town and get a hotel room somewhere out of town and, and just lay low. Or maybe I've got access to a safe house somewhere in a neighboring county. So as you're considering whether or not you have a have a safe house in a neighboring county, you hear a booming sound. Oh boy. It sounds like just giant, just footsteps are coming directly towards the building from uh, from town. Like it comes, it's coming from the direction of town. I look out the window. Closer. Uh, I don't think you actually have a window. Uh, the best way to see in that My direction office? would be to yeah, your, your office faces towards the opposite of town, back towards the. Oh, forest. that's right. It oh. does. Um, Stupid office. I mean, can we walk it out into the hall and look out a window? Yeah, I think that you can. Uh, you can get out there and yeah, I'll go look. take a look. Yeah, you go take a look, and you can see uh, just the strangest damn thing. It almost looks like there's like a like maybe a man that's just jumping towards where you are. Dear, that's not cool. That doesn't seem good. <laughs> So he's got uh, a huge pogo stick. Like, can we make out features? Like, does it look like Weber? Is he like super coffee guy? He's a normal sized man. Yeah. This, uh, well, as he's getting closer, you can see he's. It looks strange. This figure, this monstrous thing. Uh, it's just very <laughs> proportioned wrong. Like, it's too Salute. feet. We haven't learned what's going to make Mark go away yet, either, have we? No, we haven't. Well, we know he's trying to com- complete this ceremony, so I think once we thwart his ceremony, we should be okay. So this tall thing... So We have a 50-foot tall person stomping around. Wait, 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 what? No, it's, it's, a, it's a normal, normal size, person. but weirdly proportioned. Yeah, like, like 50 he's... feet there. So it's 50 yeah. foot wide person. <laughs> no. <laughs> There's 50, 50 normal sized persons. He just looks like a grotesquely, like, it, it's like, it almost looks like the, the muscles on, its, on this thing's body, which you haven't gotten close enough to see yet, has just, have just like ballooned out of proportion. To what a normal person. It's just Arnold like. Schwarzenegger. And, oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> and bounding like a like a, like a giant Arnold Schwarzenegger. 
Okay. Um, uh, where are our friends here? Are they just with us here in the office? Yep, you are all on the third floor of the library building. Yeah. Um, I suggest we vacate the building. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that guy's gonna come up, catch up with us pretty quick. I don't. I don't want him to collapse the building on us. All right. So, what do we have for vehicles? So you run outside. Let's we'll start from there. Okay. Uh, okay. And boom, boom, boom. It's getting closer and closer. Uh, what do you have in terms of vehicles? We know that the GTO is here. So that's yep. how many seats? That that will seat. Uh, uh, I mean, it will seat six uncomfortably. It's we'll wide enough seven. across the back seat. We could definitely put six in there. We've got seven. With the yeah, I can, here. I'm the one that I'm the one that least needs to be put in the car. If nothing else, I can just bop around and not get hurt. Can you? So don't count me. I thought you lost that for now. Oh, is it, is it gone for good? I'm hoping I can do that again. I don't know where we can go. I think that uh, Jeremy, you get the sense that you can probably teleport yourself. Okay. Around Towson. Could yeah. not take anyone else with you, at least yeah. for the rest of the night. Yeah, that's fine. That was a pretty bad fail. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm cool with that. Where so, yeah, it? I repeat, I can keep myself safe at least, so don't worry about yeah. me in the car if that's what it comes down to. Keep our keep Shep and Monica safe. All right. You know where the safest place might be? Where? The monster trap. Oh. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it might not be psychologically the safest, but uh, hmm. But then, if this thing can just pound on a pound the crap out of the car, I don't know. I mean, okay. that's as safe as anywhere else. I think we got to get out of, away from here okay. first. Yeah, yeah we've been we've been talking for too long. The right, decision time go. is now. Who is going into the car? Everybody I'm but going. Jeremy. Yeah. Everybody but Jeremy. Okay. Yes. Where is the car going? The car is making its way to the nearest interstate where it can uh, let her rip and, and try to make tracks. Okay. Uh, Jeremy, are, uh, can you tell me a little bit more about your intention? Are you, are you just trying to kind of like bamf along the side of the car as it's, as it's going? No, I'm or... not even trying to go with the car at this point. I'm just going to pull my sword out and try and distract the damn thing. <laughs> I love that this is happening right now. So Thanks. I'm going to, so in whatever direction the car is going, I'm going to actually put myself a little bit closer to the monster. Hopefully not close enough that it could punch me in the face. Because I don't think I want to go toe to toe with it. But uh, like close enough to draw its attention. Okay. Yeah. So I think uh, as this thing is bounding closer and closer, you can see uh, as, as the GTO peels away uh, towards the, towards the highway, um, you can see that this uh, that this thing is essentially Mark Weber, but it's as if like his skin has stretched to accommodate like just giant bulging. Oh uh, yeah, just, sure, yeah. Like he looks like he's just like extremely, extremely roided out. Uh, uh, you're ripped, just man. Just beyond What's grotesque, your... dude. And... You've been ripped <laughs> And as he's like jumping towards you, he says, "Where are they?" I've hidden them. <laughs> and like this, this is all still like mid bounce, and like you get the sense that he is now do, about to just like slam his fist right where, where, right where Jeremy is standing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'll put myself into the window of the well, uh, uh, like the uh, the library, and so I can. Sh I wave my sword out the window at him. Okay, and I think that he like that pisses him off so much that he suddenly comes barreling towards the uh, towards the front of the um, like through the the front window. Uh, do you bamf yeah. again? Yeah, I'll go behind him on the on the quad there. I'm okay, playing. Uh, I'm, I'm playing Nightcrawler. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> So I think that he like he went far enough with his with his like launch that he's now like like completely he's like just bumped into the the front the the first stacks which like completely just slam into the ones behind them and slams into the ones behind them and just a domino effect occurs as yeah. he's like he kind of like reorients himself towards you. I've like, played this game enough now to know that I'm not going to be able to go toe to toe with this thing. <laughs> so we won't even try it. 
But uh, actually, I kind of want to go back where he came from. Like, he's left a trail of destruction, right? Yeah. Lead him back along that trail, and I'll try and figure out. I'll I'll try and figure out what he's uh where he came from. And uh, oh. I will try and shoot a quick text, following <laughs> where Mark came from. Oh, here I'll, I'll type it out. Okay. <laughs> Leading Mark where? <laughs> Leading Mark back where Cam from? Wait, where's Cam Who's from? Where's Cam from? <laughs> Oh wait! So the big wait. So the big guy was Mark all along, yeah. Mark Weber. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I think uh, Jeremy, you quickly discover as you're going back, like kind of bamfing spot to spot, trying to follow the trail of destruction. You get the sense that <laughs> Mark has uh, lost interest in you and is uh, probably going to start following the car again. Okay. Um, but. I'll still do okay. what I'm doing. Uh, okay, so I'll I'll, t I'll I'll text him back. Jeremy is typing. <laughs> is anyone else get a spike of anxiety whenever you can see someone typing for a long time and then it just stops yes. and they didn't post anything? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Jeremy, would you like to narrate? Mark lost interest. Look out. Still looking for where he came from. <laughs> All right. <Who? laughs> um. So, uh, as uh, jumping back over to Joan uh, in, the, in the GTO, uh, you, you were driving through town uh, trying to get to the interstate as much as possible. Uh, God, I should have researched the interstate just nearby. Oh, that's right. You need to like go thirty minutes down, like <laughs> down a stretch of road in order to get to interstate. Yeah, of course, uh, of course. But there's still like the main route out of town. It's a straight shot. In fact, actually, yeah. uh, uh, as you're driving, uh, you pass by the field where uh, where you initially fought. Um, oh, does anyone remember the name of the mummy? Oh, uh, yeah, I do. For it. Narla Totep. No, uh, it was uh, Men Menin 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 you, um, Joan, you, like, the damnedest thing happens, uh, like, a couple of other, like, coming from the opposite direction, it looks like a, um, a Towson police department vehicle is now pursuing you and as their flash is going and is indicating for you to pull over. Uh, what kind of condition is the young lad? Shep. Shepard. Petrified. Petrified. He, is, he is just like he is a stuttering, slobbering mess, mess at the moment. I'm gonna say, "Hey, Mac." Uh, yeah. No, I'm not gonna do that. That's a bad idea. I'm gonna <laughs> try to calm him down. Grab, grab Shep's phone and, and pretend to be him, and, and text Dad and say it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but uh, I guess I'm my gonna, question here is, yeah. Uh, I I would assume I have a a cop scanner radio in the car somewhere. Yeah, I think I that tracks. I, I, I must, I must have a CD. Yeah, so I, I think that tracks. Uh, right, so I, I must hear their chatter. Yeah, and I think maybe just like a lot of the adrenaline has like you know kind of, mm -hmm. kind of worn down a little bit, and uh, you you're able to get in on their band, and you are hearing a lot of reports of like, like, hey, there's like gunfire, and there's <laughs> some kind of like. Uh, explosions going off. You just get there is now a mass panic going on on like the emergency bands for um, for Towson's uh, constabulary. Um, it's a. It looks like they're now starting to mobilize. Finally. Um, <laughs> All right. But more to the point, you got this car that's that's telling you to pull over. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm gonna try to get I'm gonna try to get on the comms with the car behind me. Okay, and uh, what do you what do you what do you say to them? I'm gonna say this is Special Agent Joan McLean, U.S. Agency. Um, Towson <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, is is under attack from an unknown assailant. Uh, you are in, interfering with a uh, federal matter. Uh, can you can you roll plus charm for me? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can't succeed a plus charm roll, but I can roll it. Eight. Hey. Huh. Ooh, okay. On an on an eight, they'll do it, but only if you do something for them right now to show you show that you mean it. If you ask too much, they'll tell you what, if anything, it would take for them to do it. So. While talking on the radio, you discovered that, uh, yeah, it is, um, oh, God, Grant Hendricks? Where is it? Yeah, yeah, it's Grant, uh, Shepard's dad. And mm -hmm. kind of the gist of the, of the conversation here is, all right, well, if you, if you stop, if you, I'll let you go, just do whatever the hell you, just get out of my town, but you've got to leave my boy. I'm gonna take him. I'm gonna get him somewhere safe. No, he's not. No, he's not. Um, uh, I mean, I, maybe splitting I, the two of them up isn't such a bad idea. It's a really know. bad idea. <laughs> what? What is it with these with this role playing group that always wants to split up? <laughs> no, like, like, given two options: stay together or split up. No, just Always splitting split the up. two potential, like, complete the ritual people. No, no, off. no, I get it. But it's like, yeah. it Why seems like it's always an option. Sheriff? He seems like a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, so as I'm having this, this conversation with Grant, can I get a read off him? Uh, what kind of read? The, does, does he seem to be twirling his mustache? Oh, and God. having his hat as, 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 as I'm talking to him. You get the sense that he is he is most importantly above all else concerned over the safety of his child. See? Like he, um, is, he is willing to like just completely forego his own duties and responsibilities to make sure that his child is safe. Um... I will try to get him to do that. Um, huh? Huh. Group? <laughs> you guys are all hearing this conversation. Yeah, I, we, can, we can't stop. No. Um, all right. Uh, I'm going to say I can't do this and drive at the same time, and I'm going to fumble the, the handset to Tatters. No, no, oh, no, God. not that it. Give it to Mac. All right. Uh, <laughs> you can't use it. The radio's just getting passed around. Yeah. Like, uh, uh, just a second. What's the most I could use? I could use Tattoo's. Tattoo's has, has, uh, has a no, two on charm. It. I'm going to go for it. Uh, All right. Hey, <laughs> please see first, Sheriff. I forget what Sheriff. Yeah. Sheriff. Hey, Sheriff, this is really important. We think your son is one of the targets of those guys with guns. We've got the other person we think is a target, and we think we need to haul ass as far away from town as possible while you guys uh, can hopefully deal with this. Um, and I explain, and I want to use my new see it all fits together uh, move uh, where I can use sharp Ooh. instead of charm when I manipulate someone. So I'm just trying to like come in real logical, Ooh. and this is the safest thing for uh, Shepard, if we uh, get him out of town. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, roll, roll plus sharp since you're trying to manipulate with uh, Rorgic. Okay. Uh, what's the skill called? See, it all fits together. All right. Well, let's convince Sheriff. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. I'll be so like, here's... I'm earnest as fuck here. I mean, uh, yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> With an eleven, uh, the, uh, they'll do it for the reason you gave them. If you ask too much, they'll let, they'll let you. They'll tell you the minimum it would take for them to do it, or if there's no way they do it. Um, 
Yeah, so this is going to be a pretty unqualified success. But I think that the trade-off here is that you are going to kind of have to tell him everything. Uh, and I guess you really did, didn't you? With the, uh, like these guys are the target. Like, um, yeah. And I'll leave. I'll drop Mark Weber's name, the guy who owned the coffee shop. He's part of this, uh, and he's got some kind of weird steroid rage going on right now. So be real careful if you run into him. Yeah, I'll. And it's some kind of weird cult ritual or something. I'll I'll drop all that shit for the sheriff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and I think I think that uh, Grant's response is that you know what I I have to protect my boy. I'm coming with you. So I added Grant to the party. Right. Um, uh, then I am going to tell him that we're kind of going lights out and to turn off his his siren and whatnot. And yep. Okay. All right. Uh, so I don't know where do we want to go as for a space, safe space, and regroup here. How far out of town are we getting? Are we getting any sense of Grant behind? Or, yeah. Cleveland. Cleveland. <laughs> Not going. I, to I would. I would try to. Yeah, take some random interstate turns and and then find a cheap <sighs> hotel that I can pay cash off the highway. How the hell do we stop this thing? Yeah, we got to figure out how to stop. Maybe we that. can keep running, but how the hell do we? How the hell do we stop this thing? We missed something. <laughs> something, something. We missed something. Check my. Hmm. Let's okay. see if Jeremy finds anything when he backtracks. But I, I think we need to. I mean. We yeah, I think that around all night. Can I throw the connect the dots here for this cult plan? I've got one hold on that from the role at the beginning. Ooh. Um, yeah. I'm going to go for this question. When and where will the next critical event occur? Perfect. Okay. Oh, done. So, uh, you, uh, excellent, excellent timing. Um, <laughs> You know, in a, in a lot of weird ways, it's it's sort of a it's sort of a game master's helper that that move. Uh, just because I like, I was like, okay, how do I get them there? Well, I just I just tell them where it is. <laughs> uh, you start to like something about laying it all out for um, laying it all out for for brand and kind of looking around and thinking about some of the different aspects and thinking about like what he's summoning, it recall it makes you remember one of the local legends for the area, which was like some kind of like entity of chaos or something that apparently like, you know, some of the there's some like legends kind of loosely connecting that entity to this spot in town. And Apparently, one of its favorite sort of things to do was to kind of give a sort of ironic, like, ability to someone uh, as, like, kind of like a punishment, but also to, like, give them, like, some, like, uh, some ability to accomplish some sort of task. Uh, so you're maybe thinking that, like, Glenn's all roided out like he just had like all the espresso, right? <laughs> okay. So it's it's almost like maybe he's got some kind of super caffeine high that he needs to maintain. So like he's probably got a little bit of a short leash. There's got to be like one spot in town where oh yeah his coffee shop right? Okay, I was gonna say that yeah. Okay. All right, He's hear me out, and I'll, I'll explain the legend thing. And I think he may need to go back and regroup or refuel at his coffee shop. And maybe the center of whatever he's doing is back there. I don't know. Is that where you're going with this? Yeah, thank you. Okay. Yeah, that's the thing I think. That is the thing that I think. Uh, I call it a missile strike, which is a thing I can do. No, it's not. <laughs> Jesus fucking no, it's not. <laughs> Jeremy. Uh, we're going to jump yep. over to you real quick because you've been yep. uh, you've been kind of tracing Mark's path. Uh, oh God! <laughs> oh, uh, that's the that path, Mark's path of discretion kind of yeah. leads you from uh, more or less from uh, the 
from the hideout. And it's while you're back at this hideout that it kind of meanders back towards Gretgro. Uh, and as you're getting closer to Gretgro Grotto, you see, you're able to kind of like sneak up and see that like, it looks like there's a couple of cultists right outside of the opening for Gretgro. Like it's almost as if they've, they've kind of set up camp here. Uh, this appears to be an important location for them. Um, and maybe like Mark might have or, like originated from here when he was doing the big old monster steps. I'd Gret Grow Grotto? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I've been there. Yep, you can you can go right into the central chat. I'm gonna go right there. I love that you're doing this, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> um so you bamf right in the dead center of Gret Grow Grotto. And as you've done so, you have bamfed directly into the center of a circle of about eight cultists who uh, are extremely surprised. Uh, and you can see that the uh, uh, the uh, like one of the one of the big circles leading all around the room has been filled in with like red paint. Um, and you can see that there is a uh, that there are three daggers on a uh, on a camping chair that's been employed as a makeshift al altar uh, in the dead, like kind of off to the side, not d directly dead. So you're in fact in front of this altar. There is a bloodied knife, and then there are two other knives that are exactly like it, like kind of next to them. Um, that's and interesting. Can so, you convince them that they summoned you? No. <laughs> so you see those two. You see those two knives that are not yet bloodied. Mm. Yeah. Grab them and put them in my pocket dimension. <laughs> <laughs> now what do you do? I really want to fucking. What are you going to do now? I'm going to bamf back to the campus. Huh. I'm just going to be gone. <laughs> Jeremy gets on the horn. Yo, dudes, just picked up two cool knives. By the way, don't go to your Greco Grotto, you guys. <laughs> Top on the LP, anyway. Uh, all right, should we... Uh, I don't know. So what do you think? Go back to the coffee shop and try to foil whatever he's doing? Uh, hey, it looks like uh, Jeremy got their sacrifice knives. That's cool. I'll text They're him back. They're going to be after us again. <laughs> okay, I texted him back. That's cool. <laughs> Jeremy is also now at Tatter's office. Thank you. I've got a chocolate chip cookie. One of my kids made them. <laughs> Tips on one knife. <laughs> God, I love, I really, I wish there was a way that we could, like, somehow display the, like, the scroll, like, the, like, if the Discord chat is just the group chat for, um, for this, for this team, I, I love that. Anyway, because uh, that's essentially what's going on here, anyway, but. So, you know, you may store any object, small object, putting it into a magical space nobody can get to. Nobody can get to you. What the fuck? That's so bananas. <laughs> as long as I can you're reach, alive. I can retrieve anything I've stored at any time. It appears in my hand. Okay. That just okay. That just okay. 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 So, uh, you had Joan. You're still driving. You're still driving. Uh, you, you said that you're kind of you're kind of on the lookout for just a place that you can stash these two, or you just kind of stash everybody. Um, and as you're driving, you actually uh, see out ahead of you uh, another car approaching. What do you do? Um. Like driving straight at us? Uh, driving on the opposite, the opposite lane. No, you guys. I mean, that's not weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I guess I'm gonna. I can't. Oh, sorry, Cam. You're breaking up a little bit, or maybe you're uh, get close to your mic. You're a little soft too. Hello. 
Hello? Hello? Oh, he, is he gone? I don't know. Still logged in. There's... No, uh... Guys, you got me? Yeah, yeah real, real yes. faint. Okay, let me... I had to switch uh, my phone here. I had to come up. I've got something going on. Voice action. Let me try something real quick. Okay. <laughs> Jeremy could have had a razor whip instead of a flaming sword. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you got me better now? Yeah. A little bit. Better. Oh, we can all individually turn you up, though. Yeah. Do that. All right. So, you got a car that's heading in the opposite direction. Uh, what do. It's it's just in the other lane, acting normal. Yep, for now. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's probably nothing. Um. So, yeah, are we on a are we on a two lane? Are we out on the interstate? How many lanes of traffic am I working with here? Oh yeah, I I, I think you're maybe you. This is still somehow within ten minutes of uh, of the outskirts of town. So you've still got another twenty minutes before interstate. Um, okay. Is there is there some place I can turn off on a on a side street? Uh, there's not. Or is it okay? Then yeah, uh, yeah I guess I will uh, say, "Hey, Hart, uh, uh, you got your piece ready." So very suddenly, the the car just like swerves really violently uh, to where it's it's kind of it's blocking your path. Um, do you try to do you try to stop the car or do you ram like do you run straight through it or do you do something else? I'm gonna uh, machine gun. Okay, that is something else. Uh, so you open up with the car's front port uh, machine guns and. Um, you, you put a bunch of holes inside in, into the car, but that doesn't make it move out of the way. Uh, you can uh, either A, try to ram through it, or you can stop. Uh, I guess I'm going to stop. Okay, so you, you slow to a stop, uh, and you can see that your, your burst on your machine guns uh, did kind of take out the, uh, the, the cultists inside. Uh, uh, but you've got this car that's pretty much blocking the entire the entire road, and you've got your stop car. Uh, what do you guys do? Uh, the sheriff's still behind us. Yeah. So the sheriff uh, Grant pulls up pulls up behind you, and uh, he gets out with his gun out, and he he goes to check the vehicle. Uh, what do you guys do? What's to the side of the road? Uh, the side of the road is uh, a lot of open farmland. Um, and the other side starts to give way to some, uh, to some kind of hilly country uh, that's that's pretty wooded. I drive around on the shoulder. <laughs> yeah, get I back get in the car, car and drive around the shoulder. Side. I think it, I, there's a there's actually there's kind of too much of a dip on the side, uh, so it, it does slow you down a good amount. Uh, and I will. So as you're as you're trying to maneuver around, um, you can hear the boom, boom, oh. boom, boom, coming closer as Mark is just like hopping his ass towards you. And he, like, as soon as he sees your car, it seems like he gets an extra burst of speed because he starts jumping faster and faster towards you. Uh, and uh, as he's jumping, he actually like pancakes Grant Grant's car, um, and like jumps over again, and is now pretty much in pursuit. You are dr- you are barreling down this country country road with Grant or with Mark, uh, right it out. Mark jumping towards you, and he's gaining somehow. Uh, what do you guys do? Uh, should we try to shoot him? I was gonna say maybe we should shoot it. You're up, Hart. <laughs> I think a headshot would be good right around now. 
All right. Well, I could give it a try. I got I got my fixed submachine gun. I got my assault rifle all stuck in the back there. Okay, it looks like we'll be driving in a straight line for a while because we lost Cam there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I mean, this road is really straight for a long time. Okay, good. <laughs> I can I can try to take him out. Okay. Uh, so are you, are you just okay? So you, uh, Hart leans out the window and shoots at Mark with his. No, I hope I don't shoot at myself. Oh. What? <laughs> shoots at Mark, right? Yeah, that's what I said, okay. didn't I? No, you said shoots. Hart leans out the window and shoots at Hart. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, Hart <laughs> leans out the window and shoots at Mark with their. Mm -hmm. Which weapon? Uh, what, oh, uh, assault which... rifle. Okay, so you lean out with your assault rifle and you just let, let flop fire. Uh, how much harm does that do again? Uh, assault rifle is uh, three harm close to our area. Okay, great. So you pepper three three harm worth worth of bullets into uh into the to the rage man. Um <laughs> okay. Rage Man. The Rage Man. It's not a fun movie. <laughs> no. The incorrigible uh mad man. Mad Hey anyway, okay. Hey sis, do you have any like tranquilizer guns or anything for like wild animals and shit? I wish I did, but I if we can downer. get him in the trunk, it'll hold him. Yeah, but I feel like we need to get him some kind of downer to like chill him out. So as he's yeah. as he's leaping, uh, and like it, the the bullets that he took, like it, they like they slowed him down, but they also seem to make him matter. Uh, and he's uh, jumping a little bit faster. And as he's jumping, he actually like picks he like. On like one leap, he like lands close to a fence. He like takes the pit, the fence post, jumps again, and like as he's like up in the air, he throws throws the fence post like like a spear at the car. Um, and uh, Joan, can you uh, act under pressure for me, please, with the intent of not being speared by the thing? Unless you could, unless you want the car to be speared by the thing. No. Uh, can you tell me what that role is again? I can't balance a book and a baby on my phone. Oh, yeah. No, you're um, good. That's uh, a plus. You roll plus cool for me, please. Plus cool. Yeah, I can do that. Two. Three. That's a 13. With a 13, 13. you, like, oh, you're, uh, yeah, actually, how do you do this? Uh, can I just kind of uh, swerve at the last minute and? Yeah, I think yeah, just a simple it. swerve. You actually you make it look yeah. easy. Um, Mac, do you mind reading those texts for us? Text. Hey, Jeremy. Hulkmar caught up with us and us and he us throwing fence posts at us. FYI. Text. Haha. -ha, is throwing fence posts. <laughs> Okay. Um, okay. So, um, tell Jeremy to trash I... the coffee shop. Oh, yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. Check out coffee shop. Out. Wait to be some secret to his power there. Hey, man, this car's like moving all over the place. It's hard to type. Spelling is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Talking that is a gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> this whole, is this whole game ending in a text exchange? <laughs> I think it, it might be. Donkey it's called Donkey Kong. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Uh, we gotta do this for you guys. <laughs> it is. Uh, okay, so uh, here's what we'll do. So Jeremy, like... Uh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, so Jeremy is going to go uh, destroy Mark's shop. Uh, I'll, 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 look, I'll look around it as I'm destroying it. Okay. Uh, in the meanwhile... 
Uh, let's say that Mark is able to bounce enough to where he has landed in front of the car and he has braced his feet as if he's going to try to catch it. Um, <laughs> Hold on, everybody. Uh, going to need you to uh, roll, uh, roll plus cool for me, please. Stand by. Well, you can't bamf here, can you? You know where yes, we I are. I can. Even though I've never been there, I know all of you very well. You're very that close works. to me. So I can do oh. that. Oh, wow. That's a part of it? I can instantly go anywhere I visited before or to a person I know well. Oh, wow. That's cool. Uh, a nine. It's a really nine. Great. Okay. Uh, here's, here's the hard choice. Uh-oh. Uh, you can either continue to go forward, at which point they'll the Hulk mark will catch your car. Or you can try to serve around, but doing so means that you are now driving back towards uh, Towson. Uh, I'll try to serve around. Okay, great. So you're now heading back He's towards Towson. He's already caught up to us. It's... Yeah. Uh, and you're, you're now driving the car back towards Towson, and uh, Jeremy, or, oh, God, all these very normal sounding names are starting to just blend together in my mouth. Uh, Mark is now bounding after your, after the car again, uh, kind of getting you, and you actually have to sort of around the, the car that was in the way of, uh, of Grant, uh, and you blaze past him, and Mark jumps past and pancakes his car a second time. <laughs> um, is and Grant Mark, being ignored, though? Yes. He's just kind of standing in the middle of the road watching us whiz past him. Yeah, he, <laughs> okay. yeah I think actually the first time around, uh, Mark destroyed, the, destroyed the, the sheriff car. And then this time around, he destroyed the car that the, the cultists were in. So now both cars are inoperable, <laughs> and Grant's just kind of on the side of the road. <laughs> we'll come back for you. So now it's uh, it's getting to the point where it seems like you're probably going to be driving towards a place. Uh, what are you? Uh, where would you drive toward? Uh, I would drive toward some place. Uh, I, I would I would try to avoid uh, uh, densely populated areas as much as possible and avoid the coffee shop. Okay. Uh, Is there? Meanwhile. Meanwhile, back at, at back at said coffee shop, uh, Jeremy, you as you get to the coffee shop, you do see that there is. Uh, it looks like there's a cultist on guard, but you're actually you're able to bamf behind him pretty easily and just knock him out. Uh, and as you is there only is, is there only yeah yeah let's kill yeah yeah take care yeah of so you just um, but screw the knocking out of him kill him oh Jeremy, wow okay. Jeremy kills everybody. I he's, didn't yeah, that. yeah. I don't really. Yeah, he's, he's, he's no proven. angel. Yeah, he's no angel. Kill him. Okay. Uh, so I you, don't feel bad about it. Man, uh, and you go inside the coffee shop, and you see that it there is. Uh, it, you get the sense maybe that this cultist that you that you just killed was having a smoke break after making all of these pots of coffee. Like there's just every like it. It is all just. Uh, all these pots are just on and ready to go, like as if like this is like the the second refueling or what what have you. Sure. Okay. So um, you know, coffee shops have drains. Pour all the coffee down the drain, and then destroy <laughs> all the coffee makers. Okay. So you take the time to. Uh, yeah, dude, to, I'm, I'm enjoying pouring it all down the drain. Go down into the lake, and we are going to have roided out bluegill. Believe me, I am thinking that right now. <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. I'd rather see. I'd rather have Jaws and show up at Towson. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's do it. Okay, so uh, Mark is uh, Mark is bouncing uh, towards uh, towards Jones' car and uh, is. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, you uh, you're taking the car through some like less less populated areas, uh, and you start to get the sense that 
he's kind of starting to slow down a little bit before like he kind of lets out like this really loud scream of frustration and then starts bounding uh towards the direction of the the coffee shop uh what do you do um at this point i say to the group questioningly does the hunted become the hunter? Well, I say yeah. we drop. I say we drop the kids off first. <laughs> well, we can't leave them alone. Crap. Okay. Uh, so here's actually uh, Monica. Yeah. Monica volunteers. Like, if you if you let me borrow your car for the night, I will get us far away from here. Uh, I'll say, will you pick up Grant and then get far away from here? That's the plan. Okay. So that's what we'll do. We'll we'll go. So what? We go back to the coffee shop and then and then have the kids drop us off. Is that the plan? Sure. Doesn't sound <laughs> it's like gonna be. He knows. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I mean, that's the only way we can let him borrow the car. Yeah. Okay. So you're. Uh... So we've all kind of converged on the coffee shop, and this is the this is the scene kind of as it as it unfolds. Um, Jeremy, you are you are pulling your sword out of the last coffee maker as yep. like the like the front like the front uh, <laughs> like the door before like the big because this is uh, if memory yeah this is all in kind of like a basement um, like the front wall. Where like the stairs are just explodes in, and uh, like Mark just bounds down, and he looks around, and you see such rage as you've never seen before in your life, and he just bellows, "What have you done?" I shrug. <laughs> <laughs> I shrug. Yeah, you're, uh, uh, you uh, you have a whole like five hundred pounds of just pissed off roid man screaming <laughs> towards you as uh, uh, Jones GTO uh, swerves to the to the front. Um, Mac and uh, Tatters and Joan and Hart all pile out of the car. And Monica jumps in the front and just like peels off in the night. Uh, we're now all squared off. Uh, in, in this in in this basement, uh, but yeah, for the right now, Jeremy, you've got a bunch of roid man coming at you. What do you do? So I'm in a basement. You're saying? Yeah. Uh, so I say, by the way, I've got your sacrificial knives too, and then I bamf upstairs and shout <laughs> at him from up there. <laughs> and I think that uh, like he he actually like he jumps and he goes like up through the ceiling into the into the first floor like kind of near to where you're yelling from yeah, he's a hulk uh, yeah yeah <laughs> and uh and i think he's gonna try to take a swipe at you oh um, sure can you uh can you act under pressure for me i think that like you got it uh, that's cool that's right cool. yeah that's fair uh i think my cool is plus one let me confirm that yes all right I put the plus one in there. Set well seven. Okay. Okay, so on a seven, um, yeah, sort of success, I think that, but it doesn't work completely well. Yeah, I think that you're able to to roll with it well enough to where uh, he does kind of graze you a little bit. Sure. Yep. Uh, and you go back down towards the uh, uh, towards the basement level again. Uh, but even that graze, that was too harm uh, that that he that he got you with just by like right. so, like his like his outstretched like pinky kind of like hitting up against your shoulder. Yeah, yeah, sure, I got it. Um, so you take two harm, and you're back on the basement level. Uh, rest of the team, who wants to try something next? The monster man is in the first floor. Uh, well, Tatters, Tatters is having nothing to do with this. <laughs> 
Thanks, Colm. Oh, there's nothing I can do. I, uh, th- he can't take this thing on. Well, uh, can I shoot his eye out? Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> can you roll to kick some ass? Um, roll plus tough. Well, plus tough. I actually have plus one tough, thank God. Um, okay. Uh, roll. Two, D, six. Oh, that's a ter- terrible roll. Yeah, so the 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 sound of the, the gunshot ringing out, uh, actually, like, do you... He like he he wheels around towards you and uh, and just like launches uh, like just <laughs> launches himself down from the first floor uh, right at your right at your face and oh, uh, sure. yeah you get an arm bar like just right across the chest that knocks you back and uh, you take three harm. Oof. Ooh 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 ooh. Tatters can do something. What does Tatters do? Tatters is going to use magic. Okay. Uh, I, I, don't think I rolled. I rolled plus that. weird. I have a plus three on weird. Okay. So what am I going to? What am I going to do? It's Wait, I can do a whole bunch have? of stuff. I can inflict harm. One harm, ignoring armor magic. Mm. Enchant a weapon to give it plus one harm, plus magic. Do one thing that's beyond human limitations. Bleh. Bar a place or portal to a specific person. Trap a specific person or creature. Banish a spirit or curse from the person, object, or place it inhabits. Sort of a, yeah. I can do a bunch of stuff. Do you you need a magical ability to do that stuff? How does that work? I have. I have a base magical force. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, uh, I... I buy it. He's a trickster. He's kind of a trickster spirit. Uh, mm-hmm. Let me let me ask you Lies. this, Tom. What would you like to do? Well, there's no, there's nothing. What's making Mark tick here? It's just he's just powered by some blood curse or some such shit. Is that what's going on with him? It, it sounds like he might have made some kind of a deal. Well, I do have the ability to banish a spirit or curse from a person, object, or place. Oh. I could try that, or I could just I could just try inflicting harm, but it only does one harm. I really like this banish thing. Uh, I like the banish thing. on that. I'm gonna go for it. Okay. Two d six plus three. Ooh, shit. Ooh. Uh, oh, okay. So you, you got an eight. An though. eight. It, it works w- imperfectly. I choose my effect and a glitch. Okay. Uh, and I think I, I get to choose a glitch. But, uh, in fact, actually, the magic draws immediate unwelcome attention is exactly the thing that I want to have happen here. But here's the other aspect to it. I think that you're trying to banish this spirit that you we're able to kind of guess as in having Mark at the moment, but you're doing that without knowing its true name. There's a couple of roadblocks there. So it's still possible, but it's gonna take a little bit of time. Uh, so I think that I'm gonna kind of borrow back to the way that we kind of handled Men- Menademus to where there's going to be, you'll, you'll need to succeed on two more of those roles. Oh. And meanwhile, everyone else is gonna try to make it so that you can do that safely. All right. Uh, okay, so that's, I think that's the setup. That's the encounter. Um, uh, heart just got arm barred. Uh, yeah, can somebody please heal me? <laughs> that's a lot of uh, Yeah, so Joan, uh, Joan, it's, uh, it's, you kind of have the, have the, the moment to act. Uh, heart has been hurt pretty, brad, pretty brad, badly. Uh, Jeremy seems to be doing not so great. You've got Hulk Mark directly in front of you. And I think Joan just left and is back again. Um, <laughs> and... Sorry, I tried to uh, unmute and hung up for a second. Yeah, no worries. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 
I will I will go ahead and uh heal heart. What is that roll? Okay. My medic ability. Does someone have the I'm working on it? I'm sorry, hand on a baby again. No, no problems. Uh-oh. Hand on a baby. <coughs> Medic, you roll plus cool. You just make all all of your rolls are just plus cool. <laughs> Hot diggity damn! Nice. So on a ten, a plus, ten. Uh, patient is stabilized and healed of two harm. So part you are healed you of. You guys two are breaking harm. up again. So whatever healing power he Jones, two did, harm. I don't know what it is? Two harm. Oh. Oh, good. That's that's much better. I'm not almost unstable now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, Mac, what the hell okay. did you do in this situation, so man? Now that this guy has leapt out in out of the coffee shop. I'm going to run in and see if there's any intact caffeine, like a double <laughs> shot in a can or anything like that. Uh, I think Jeremy was pretty thorough. Um, uh Okay, well, is there any, like, non-broken container, even if it doesn't have coffee in it? Okay, yeah. Uh, give me... Roll plus sharp for me. Okay. I think we're going to kind of treat this as a sort of a... A quick search, like... Uh, yeah. Plus two. Find container. Damn it! <laughs> All right. I was going to try to lure him away with the problems of caffeine, but I have failed. Yeah, no dice. Uh, so you're not able to, to find anything. Uh... Stupid and, throw, Jeremy. Yeah, and I think that's. I think now, we leave it at that. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Jeremy, it's your go. So the situation is that he's now left outside. I don't. Yeah, I don't think so. I think that we're still all in the in the in the shop in the basement. Oh, I thought he left left out, and that's how he hit uh, Hart. Like I didn't think we'd all charge in, but maybe I'm envisioning it wrong. No, it's it's okay. I think I assumed that everyone would just charge into the basement. Oh, okay. But uh, let's just say, just for ease, we're all in the basement now. Okay. So, uh, I kind of feel just like taunting him. <laughs> um, I'll pop my sword out and I say, you know, you're oh. never going to see those knives again, and I'll take a swipe at him. Is that all right? Okay. Yeah, uh, roll to kick some ass. Well, wow. nice. On a 12, uh, you get an extra effect. Uh, I'll do the grievous harm. Okay, uh, how much harm is that again? Actually, let me take a look. I think 12, do I even get even better? Kick some ass? Completely hold the advantage. Oh, did you take that as an advanced move? This is an advanced. No, it's just that on a twelve plus, I can instead pick an enhanced effect. But that's that's if you've um, if you've marked it as one of your advanced. Oh, do you have uh, to? Oh, I see. Thing. Never yeah. mind. Then I'll just take the I'll just take the plus one uh, terrible harm. So that's okay. a four harm shot then. Okay, great. So he's up to that amount. All right. Um, yeah. So he he takes it and he lets out like a mighty mighty roar and uh, just wheels around. And just clobbers you for three harm. That gets through. Uh, okay, so Hart, you've been uh, you've been kind of patched up, and uh, you just you see Jeremy go sailing out in the other direction. Uh, what do? Um. Okay, so fighting this this guy doesn't work. I have the grimoire. Is there anything in there about coffee fueled giants? Ooh, I love this. So roll plus th- uh, roll plus weird to consult the grimoire. The I tome of shadows. High, I don't have a very high weird. But in fact, it's kind of low, but we'll see what we can do here. All right. Oof, well. a nine. A nine. That's not bad. Okay. So. Uh, so you open the Tome of Shadows uh, to, like, just kind of hope and beyond hope. Maybe you've got something for me. Uh, and it, uh, it kind of, it like shimmers for a moment, and as it, do, as it does so, it lets out this blinding light 
that it ends up hurting you a little bit. So you take one arm. But uh, this this light that that kind of bursts from the book, like kind of coalesces into like a, a stream of magic that is, uh, that has now like it looks like it's starting to help Tatters is working of banishment. Mm -hmm. uh, so Tatters, you now have plus one forward to each use uh, use magic attempt to banish the spirit. Excellent. So I have what? You have plus, plus one. one on your banish roll. Oh, yeah. so I have a plus four. Okay. So, yep, go ahead and take one now. Thirteen. Uh, Thirteen. Yeah, that's more like it. Very excellent. Uh, so I think that uh, you uh, kind of the boost from the from the from the tome of, tome of shadows uh, gives you a moment where uh, I'm actually going to. So that's a uh, that's going to be worth a tick on the you know getting the spirit out of the the coffee boy, but go to uh, kick some ass for me please and choose an effect that you would get from the uh, ten plus effect here. So either uh, you gain advantage, take one plus forward, or give plus one forward to another hunter. You oh no, 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 no. We, uh, we completely we completely hold we completely hold the advantage. Okay, great. Uh, so do you take the advantage of someone else? Um, yeah, I'll give it to whoever's up next. Okay, that's going to be Joan. Uh, actually, it sounds like Joan might have been a bad time for Joan for their turn. Uh, bup, 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 bup. Let's go to Matt. What uh, I will up. do... Oh, oh, there we go. Never underestimate Joan. I'll go ahead and uh, attack with my pistol, just in the hopes of distracting it for a little bit while the spell finishes up. Okay, uh, roll to kick some ass and add plus one forward from the from the workings of the spell. Okay, let me consult because that's a uh, plus plus tough. So that's plus one to that. That'd be plus three. Whoa! Oh, Double six, wow. fifteen total. Wow. wow. So yeah, uh, you roll your damn. You get your usual amount of harm. Uh, how much harm was the weapon that you're using? Uh, two. Okay, and then you add one extra effect from the list here. Uh, would you like the? Would you like me to read the list, or you got it? Could you please? Yes, so you can gain the advantage, take plus one forward, or give plus one forward to another hunter. You can inflict terrible harm, plus one harm. You suffer less harm, minus one harm. Or you force I will give uh, plus, plus one forward to Tatters. Okay, great. Right. Uh, so I think that, yeah, you're maybe distracting the, the Hulk even further to where it's now having to kind of keep track of you in order to not get too terribly pasted. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, but I think in the ensuing ensuing attack, uh, let's see here. Okay, but you do take uh, you do take some harm. Uh, that was a really, really good roll, so I'm gonna just throw in a minus one harm just for just for giggles. Uh, so he does like uh, in trying to block your, your shots with his hand. Like he like kind of isn't able to aim as well, but he does catch. He does hit you for two harm. I'm sorry. Say again. How many harm? Uh, two harm. <laughs> two minus my armor. Dope. One All harm. Right. Uh. I think that brings us back around to Mac. Yeah. So in all of this, with everybody taking swipes on him, can I like get behind him now? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Because all right. So I'm gonna try a sneaky attack when I attack from ambush or from behind, inflict plus two harm. So I'm pulling out my big ass flashlight and just trying to pop him Stop. in the head from behind to keep up the round of distraction. Yeah. Uh, 
And then okay. math. Well, oh, you're right. I don't think I have a lot of tough. That was the drawback with this concept. Oh, plus one. Okay. 2d6 plus one. Whack. I turn that into a song. 2d6 plus five. Uh, that was so whack. Hey, look at all this experience I'm building up. Yeah, that's, so what, that's what you get for attacking a monster with a flashlight. Uh, <laughs> so you you are convinced that you're you're about to bop him right on the right on the noggin. I uh, set up. You kind of stayed low as but best you could, but he just wheels around and just like elbow checks you like right like oh. right in the gut. So you take three harm. Uh, and you're kind of like thrown backwards a little bit. Uh, <laughs> Jeremy, I believe it's your go. Uh, you get the sense that uh, we're getting pretty close to the end. It's um, you see that uh, Mark, with desperation, is just like starting to tear ass directly towards Tatters, who is uh, finishing up the incantation. Oh yeah, uh, nail his ass with another sword. Tatters. Okay. Uh, just yes, definitely uh, Tatters. That's who I'm aiming for. <laughs> roll plus. Uh, roll plus top. Top. Nine. All Nine. right. Nine. Nine. <laughs> okay, so you deal uh, what, three, harm? three harm. Yeah, uh, you deal three harm, and uh, the sword like sticks into into the you know the Mark Hulk's back, and uh, just as like like you could you feel as if like you kind of pinioned him in place. Um, okay. But in so yeah. doing, he does like throw just some wild wild haymakers behind behind his head and just like cocks you right across the face for three harm. Okay. Um, I can take it. <laughs> All right. I have I have my angelic armor plus I'm immortal, oh, so this right. is not so bad. It could be and better, so, but it's alright. I can weather it. Uh and just and just as that as that's happening, the magic around Tatter starts to coalesce until uh Tatter's can you roll plus weird please? Okay, and I, I did I did get a plus one as well, also, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, so you have a plus two. Uh, Eleven. Oh, I had a plus two. Make that a twelve, then. Holy crap! Excellent. <laughs> I don't think that's how forwards are really supposed to work. Maybe like, they're... but then again, it's still good anyway. Uh, so with a twelve, uh, you, yeah, you Tatter's voice like reaches to a fevered pitch. And the lights that are swirling around ahead of, of above him coalesce into a net uh, that um, kind of like this net of light gets shot towards uh, towards the Mark Hulk who is uh, who is stuck on this sword that's been like that's on fire that's that's like got him directly in the chest uh, stuck to the ground uh, and as the net hits Mark it sort of passes through him and. Uh, it seems to have balled up some kind of dark coalescing shape inside of the net. Uh, and the net kind of balls itself behind Mark. As Mark undergoes a terrifying transfiguration back into a regular human being, the muscles don't deflate. It just seems like whatever unreality was making that make sense was just removed. Uh, so... Like, there's a lot of, like, skin starts to tear, he blacks out, and just dies a very, very gruesome death on this sword. Uh, meanwhile, as this, as this <laughs> net of uh, dark energy is kind of bouncing, it bounces a little bit towards Jeremy uh, before the net completely disappears in this dark coalescing presence, like kind of shoots up in front of him so fast, but just goes right past. And Jeremy, for a moment, for just a moment, you think you might have knew that guy before <laughs> it's just gone. Uh, you just kind of have this vague image of like a smiling face and a top hat. Um, Mr. Peanut? And suddenly... <laughs> Could it have been? <laughs> Who else could it have been? But yeah, uh, what do you guys wow. do? Uh, 
I think some piece, some of us need some patching up here. I think I might have bruised a rib at least. Give me a moment. I'm gonna bop back to uh, to the grotto. <laughs> So you're back at the grotto. Uh, you're back in the circle again. And uh, this time, these cultists seem to have been prepared for you at least a little bit. They do have weapons and are kind of like looking around all over the place. So Mark is dead now. And if you don't want to be dead as well, you might want to take those robes off. <laughs> <laughs> didn't, I didn't know we were going to have a sexy ending. <laughs> uh... I think that they choose the stupid option and I'll shoot at you. Um, right, I'll just disappear as quickly as possible then. <laughs> okay, I was, I was about to say like I think that, I think that we're close to the point now where like you guys, you could have, we could have just hand waved you mopping up those guys, but <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm not going to go out of my way to just slaughter all of them. Well, uh... Cool, cool. But now I know. <laughs> maybe when he ba- maybe they're all in a circle, and when he bams, they all end up shooting each other. <laughs> oh my god, I kind of love that. Uh, okay, but the the dust has sort of settled in the uh, in the basement of uh, uh, of Mark's coffee shop, um, and you get how, the sense how... that uh, you get the sense that uh, there's been a little bit of closure. Like this is. This seems over. Um, in fact, actually, the night, it seemed like it had gone so fast, but uh, you can see the, the, the sun starting to rise in the, in the distance. Um, eh. yeah, Should we head to the gravy uh, ladle, guys? You want to get breakfast? No, I'm going to head back to my tree. <laughs> I need Not to I- sleep. I wouldn't want to have to write this police report. <laughs> yeah, so I guess... Uh, I'm pretty injured, so I'm going to have to go back to my hotel room and take a breather. <laughs> I can... I can... I can. Well, no, I already did you once, didn't I? Yeah. My crappy apartment, rather. I could recover with some breakfast. <laughs> So yeah, I think I'll get uh, I think just to just to put a, a picture frame on this a little bit, I'm going to kind of force us into having sure. breakfast with the gravy label yeah. to finish things out. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it's it's a it's a very excellent meal. It's uh, a, there's just something extra special about uh, about the pancakes that uh, that that Mac orders. Um, you know the, the the biscuits and gravy is really fucking good. Um, and you just, you're all just kind of together for this moment of just getting the sense that things have kind of ended here. Uh, certainly Towson is going to continue be, to be weird, but there might be something else in the future for us. Uh, and I think that's where I want to put the, where I put, want to put the bookmark for now. Cool. Some nice breakfast. All right. Nicely like done. It. Yeah, it was nice fun. Yeah, that was fun. Thank you. I had a lot of fun too. Yeah. Uh, well, thank I, thank you. Um, I got the I, hang of a card shooting a gun. Should we do the uh, uh, end of? Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm. I don't even think I'm looking at them, but uh, I got them here yeah. if you want. Uh, did we conclude <laughs> the current mystery? Okay. You saved someone from certain death or worse. Yes, yeah, you did. Yes. Did we learn something new and important about the world? Yes. Coffee is well, bad. I would say <laughs> that connects the dots roll that uh, Mac made there at the end. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. We, all, good. we also we also learned that Jeremy has some kind of uh, supernatural nemesis. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. So that's uh, did we learn something new and important about one of the hunters? That too. And oh, yeah. I think I wanted to make sure that I kind of uh, I wanted to make sure that I got this, but I can't remember if at the end of the last session if I told you guys that. Um, yeah, Mark had sort of been behind everything that happened, uh, 
insofar that he's the one that wanted to get rid of Livingston, Livingstrom when it seemed like he was getting too close to the mysteries of Greco Grotto. Um, so he was able to make the arrangements through his uh, through his contacts in the cult to have this mummy delivered so that it would kind of serve two ends. Uh, he needed to sacrifice three people that had been touched by weird energy, namely the mummy, um, and also silence Livingstrom. That caused Shep to be, you know, infected by the weirdness. And originally, the mummy was supposed to go out, get three people, and those were going to be his three sacrifices. Excellent. But then you guys showed up um, and took out the took out the mummy before he could get the three people. And now he all, all he had was a dead living strum, which was no use to him. Uh, so he bided his time, and he tried to infect more college students with weirdness by suggesting to one of uh, Monica's friends that they go check out Greco Grotto at this time. Um, the time thing happened, and he kind of hoped to get all three of the students invo in involved in that, but one of them got uh, affected. Uh, and he was also a part of each of the time skips because he has also been affected by weirdness by being a part of the cult. Um, that was kind of the rules there where you guys got to ride along because of the weird energy. Ah. Um, much like uh, Monica did because she was at Greco Grotto at that particular moment. She got struck by lightning in the center of the fucking place. Um, But yeah, so then uh, when he was like, okay, it's got to be this time, he made this, made this deal with this entity and then tried to harvest weird energy from Monica, Shepard, and um, the one kid he was able to kill. Who was that? Randy. Anyway. Randy. So that's how all this kind of, kind of wrapped up. Cool. Nice. Cool. Next up, Cleveland. So that was four Next up, total. Cleveland. Yeah. So that gives us two experience points when we got three or four? Yeah. I'm sorry. That was a really long... Uh, no, that was great. That was good. Yeah, it's good to have the... Yeah, it's nice to... Yeah, kind of know what the fuck is going on. Yep, I yeah, get to I'm... level up again. Cool. Oh, I get to level up again, too. How Excellent. many experience points do we get? Two? Two. Yeah. Two. Oh, I'm one short. Oh. Yeah, oh, I'm, I'm short gonna, again. I'm gonna take mental. <laughs> Quick roll plus charm. I'm taking <laughs> mental dominion. Ooh. <laughs> uh, I don't like the sound of that. I do. All right. So <laughs> I think uh, I think that's that's all the monster of the week that I have for now. Um, cool. cool. I'm, uh, I'm, all right. I'm I'll, just in case we go back to it. I'm taking uh, friends on the force. Excellent. Ooh, Ooh. nice. Especially if we're going to Cleveland. <laughs> okay, yeah, I guess we are going to Cleveland then. Uh, I'll have to... So, I guess uh, I'll, I'll kind of close this out by saying this is mostly just, you know, working stuff. I don't even know if this kind of made it into the actual episode with Craig, but um, yeah, I think that this is where I want to leave on for now. Uh, I, I, would, I really love playing with these guys. <laughs> Uh, if the uh, next if the next game doesn't take place in Cleveland and doesn't involve Kiss, this game is shit. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um,